Space is vast, dark, and not your friend. Gamma rays and neutrino bursts erupt from dying stars to cook you alive. Black holes tear you apart. And the void itself boils your blood and seizes your brain. Try to scream and no one can hear you. Hold your breath and you rupture your lungs. Space isn't as empty as you'd think either. Its frontiers are ever-expanding. Our rival governments wage a cold war of aggression while greedy corporations buy for valuable resources. Colonists reach for the stars and gamble with their lives. Each new world tamed is either feast or famine. And there are things lurking in the shadows of every asteroid. Things strange and different and deadly. Things alien. This is the Alien Role-Playing Game, a universe of body horror and corporate brinksmanship where synthetic people play God while space truckers and marines serve as hosts to newborn ghoulish creatures. It's a harsh and unforgiving universe, and you are nothing if not expendable. Stay alive if you can. Welcome to Vorpal Tales, where we play terrifying tales and awesome adventures every day of the week, and most days, twice a day. If it's the dark and macabre that sets off your motion tracker, on Sundays we're playing our Unknown Armies campaign, Burn, then later on Sundays playing Vampire the Masquerade, Chronicle Starlight and Smoke. On Tuesdays we're playing our Chronicle of Darkness, Insurgents. On Thursdays we're playing our Alien the RPG campaign, right here, right now. On Fridays, we're playing our Chronicle of Darkness, No Time for Reality. Later on Fridays, we're playing our new Ravenloft story, Torment. On Saturdays, we're playing Simbaroon Campaign, 
Heirs to Darkness over on the Free League Twitch channel, and later on Saturdays, we're playing Necrobiotic in support of the new Kickstarter. If it's the Adventurous and Fantastic that you prefer to aim your escape pod at, on Mondays, we're playing our new Dune campaign, Houses of the Lands Red. On Tuesdays, Exalted Essence in support of the new Kickstarter on the Onyx Path channel. And on Wednesdays, Fallout, Radioactive Summers. Be sure to log into the corporate network and check out our website, HorribleTales.com, to see our complete calendar, get recaps of shows, and get the links to our past archives on YouTube. You'll also find links to all of our social media there and our Patreon. Be sure to click follow on Twitch so you can be notified of shows and interdepartmental memos. And if you check out the YouTube archives, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to avoid being assigned to backwater terraforming colonies. Special thanks to Free League for being awesome and for all the support they offer. Thanks to Astral Tabletop and the Foundry for virtual tabletop support. To my brother, at Nate Mid, for creating the Astral character sheets we use. To Coag's music, Somnia Music, and White Bad Audio for some of the sounds you'll hear. And we'll be using the shiny new Colonial Operations Manual from Free League. We encourage you to get a copy of it. It has many new character options, tons of equipment and world building, a full campaign, a set of adventures, and like every Free League book, it's gorgeous. Links will appear momentarily. And remember, as always, this show is sponsored by Wayland yutani Bioweapons Division. They proved very provided a very generous contract payout boost for this. When you work for the company, your family, Wayland yutani building better worlds. Marines, get on the line, form up, and sound off like the ultimate badasses you are. Uh, yes, sir, this is Ezekiel Thomas, and uh, I'm going to be our roughneck tonight. Hey everybody, I'm Ever, my pronouns are they, them. You can find me all over the internet as Changeling Ever. And tonight, I will be playing both characters, uh, Lieutenant Commander Pilot, Chase Fitzgerald, and Ewan, Adam Edenson, who uh, Ruth just found out is a synth. Hey everybody, I am Dwayne at Made of Kimchi on the internet, and I will be starting out this evening playing Company Agent Grant Lethem, and then moving on later to Lance Corporal Harrison. Hi, I'm Rosie, and I will be starting off tonight with Dr. Laura Lamb, a cold and calculating scientist, and then moving on to Ruth, who likes to blow things up as much as possible. Hello, I am Kisama. You can find me on Twitter at TrueKisama, and tonight I will be playing both of the characters with the most rivalries, Jordan Lockwood, and then later tonight, William Gardner. It's just a compliment to you, Key, that's all. Hey folks, I'm JT. You can find me online at Sensomancer. Tonight I will be leading the night with uh, Lieutenant Commander John Higgins, uh, pilot, and, uh, and later in the evening, Sergeant Jason Murphy. Excellent. Lieutenant Sullivan, if you would, please read the after-action report from your last mission debrief. Oh, IRL? IRL Sullivan? <laughs> Do we have a fake Sullivan in here? I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you were, <laughs> you were one of the few people on the show whose last name is already public, and I can say it. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Um, okay, sorry. I will open. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> so like Lieutenant Sullivan. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, they're they're right. just mad I didn't say Admiral. Oh no, I'm fine with not having a leadership position. <laughs> I um <laughs> I'm a red shirt, guys. I hate to tell you, but Alien Acid and Ice. Nissa 340 Gloom Crew. Five mission: reestablish atmospheric processor. Advised: unpredictable weather. Unspecified heat signature detected. Pre-drop protocols follow. We select the personnel to be deployed to Nissa 340 and start the game off with sad rolls to try to get dressed. I forgot about that. <laughs> Private Gardner <laughs> serves as our dropship pilot. Immediately starts piloting like a fool. As we descend to the planet, <laughs> Lieutenant Corporal Harrison orders a sweep of the main complex, noticing that many of the outlying structures have collapsed and the main processor shows higher mass than it should. 
landing is less graceful than we would have liked, and Adam injures himself in the process. Readout shows that Private Gardner broke the landing strut of the ship. Harrison calls for a perimeter around the ship, and Zeke will assess the damage while Adam follows up the rear. Zeke notices that Adam's face has developed a rash. He runs back inside to fix and adjust his suit. Gardner and Ruth conduct a perimeter sweep. Zeke gets started on repairs to the strut, which take up to six hours. Mission team coordinates lost. Reacquiring. Please wait. While Harrison and Adam were scanning the surrounding area, they see something moving, but are unsure what it is. Neither of them notice two things fly into the ship. During the sweep, Gardner and Ruth realize that something has been boring into the buildings. Cons are shoddy and their findings are lost to static. Zeke realizes that Something has been chewing at the power cables. Adam cleans up the comms and discovers that we need to be at the ready as shit is about to go down. When we then are surprised by what can only be described as bugs, combat ensues. Gardner, Gardner auto fires. Adam shotguns. Ruth shoots exploding canisters to kill droves of them. Meanwhile, Zeke gets injured, but manages to get into the Stinger, a 4x4 assault vehicle. Harrison fumbles his attack and ends up getting injured, but Adam is there to heal up the leg. Final bug spits up on Zeke and he gets poisoned. As Harrison takes out the last bug with the Stinger's twin cannon. Emergency. Planetary tectonic activity detected. Location. Sector 34, 23, 9Z. Danger close. The moment of ease is gone as quick as it came, as a monstrosity, a giant water bear, aka tardigrade, bursts up from the ground. We work to regroup as Harrison takes pot shots at the water bear. Adam hits it with a missile, successfully fighting off the monster. After the fray, we begin to set up a defensible position around the atmosphere processor as Zeke, Gardner, and Ruth get started on repairs. Missiles, RPGs, and automatic fire mow down the front and rear groups of bugs. Determined to clean up the remaining threats, Ruth chucks a, an electro, electro? electro grenade. While successful, its interaction with the atmosphere in close proximity causes damage to the stinger and to Adam. Almost fried, Adam is able to hide their android origins. In the ensuing chaos, Zeke freaks out and hides while Gardner finishes up the repairs. If I recall correctly, the quote was, fuck, 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 fuck. <clears throat> the processor is successfully reactivated, and as quickly as the fight began, the bugs seem to disperse. Upon investigation, it seems that the EM wave the processor had been emitting was sending these creatures into a frenzy. Now the only thing left to do is repair the dropship and report back to headquarters. Processor activation acknowledged, awaiting after action report ends transmis end transmission. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. It has been seven days since that mission. And you have been waiting around impatiently to finish the emergency repair and retrofit. It's been completed. And the last of the Marines is being released from the med bay and back into active service. Today is the day you leave to continue on your journey towards your ultimate destination. So when the scene begins, it's going to be your quote unquote Navy characters sitting around the table having breakfast one more time before getting in cryopods. I could go with some eggs or something real. But well, second that, there's not a whole lot of here. This tastes like. Always tastes like the same old porridge, no matter how much salt, or he unscrews a flask whiskey you put on it. 
The coffee is the only thing good on this ship. I mean, what does this man got to do? How many, how many uh, credits do you think it would take to get something real out here? Like, seriously. Couldn't have packed an orange on the fucking voyage? You do realize that by the time we come out of cryostasis that all of the food would have gone bad. Also, at least one of you at this table has no idea what an orange is. The fuck's an orange? It's a citrus fruit. Very, very good. Um, I, I mean, orange. yeah, but still, it's like fucking... What's... can freeze what's, ourselves. We, what's we made... citrus? Yeah. <laughs> it's a fruit. <laughs> but what does it taste like? Citrus. <laughs> it's like orange. <laughs> What's like the color think orange? Think about the color, yeah, think about what the color yeah. orange would you taste like. That sounds disgusting as Wait, fuck. yeah, it would taste disgusting for someone who's never tasted an orange. It's like crayons. Tastes like crayons. I don't know about that. The only it's ones who would know crazy. about it's that insane. are our counterparts down on the planet. I mean, you got to keep an open mind about these things, really. I think you can keep your orange. I I'll will. Think it's like I'll fucking sweet eat it too. and tart at the same time. I mean, yeah, a little bit sweet, exactly. a little bit bitter. I mean, it's very good. Back in boot camp, I licked a traffic cone. Does that count? Absolutely not. I think no. that was more lead you were tasting. Traffic cones are made out of plastic, dude. With lead paint, I hear the last time I heard. But they are orange. Lead paint hasn't been used since back in, the, what, the 19th century or something? <laughs> Pretty sure the same craft. I don't want to hear no more backtalk from you, AI. Lead? Who would use lead? That's heavy. You can't have heavy shit in space. I asked you. Well, the traffic cone wasn't in space. Now I want to launch a traffic cone into space. Uh, now I want an orange. <laughs> I want an orange, and I, I will eat every orange that everyone else does not want. Since if you all I get an orange, I will give it to you. What do they look like? Do they have spikes? No. <laughs> Yes, they're very spiky. On the inside, there's spikes on the inside. Uh, yeah. On the, Why do you eat So you gotta be then? careful. Yeah, you don't really want to bite in the whole thing. You just like peel it off. I don't know. I heard that people used to eat these things called lobsters that were like literally insects and like this big wet thing. Oh no, it was like people eat weird things. That, you know, that I, I think I disgusting. had one of those. Yeah. It was purple and it had like ten legs. It was great. Okay. It was such an archaic time back then. The bottom feeders is just disgusting. You just start eating that, and it's just like it's the ocean's poop you're eating at that point. It's just, uh, what? Given, given, don't given poop? what's out in space and the stories I've heard out here, maybe we move off the eating insects topic. True. Or, or much more likely more insects. <laughs> or eaten by insects, yes. Uh, that is a good point. Yes, perhaps you should uh, give the mission brief, Commander. Uh, I suppose I should. The mission brief key is take a nap. Wow. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> We're all going to, uh, you know, spend a little time in... Why am I giving this mission brief? Just take a nap. Well, I did not run away in the last mission. Wait, what? Nap. Well, okay, nap. Getting a little like round around the middle from all these damn naps. Like, come on. Maybe you should be eating this schlop. Spend a little bit more time napping. Have you tried these in <laughs> You're ridiculous. Stop eating the powdered eggs and stick to the vitamin paste. Is that where all the powdered eggs are gone? No, no, that was very obviously not me. Vitamin, okay. So it's actually. Six different kinds of what looks like cereal. Powdered eggs, powdered milk, little cubes that kind of taste like bacon, but not really, and uh, rice noodles. Mm. That was four. You know what I like to do is Maybe take the two. bacon cubes and stick them in the rice noodles. I was just I thinking that Dr. Lamb probably does the same. I feel like yeah, I take the bacon good. cubes with me into cryo freeze in case I wake up randomly and get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I like so like I don't know if you've ever heard of this it's old world food. It's called Raymond. 
Raymond, yeah. Uh, Raymond, like the, that like the man? Like, like no, a video no, 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 game. No. No. You have time for video games? Uh, when I was a boy, I did very classical stuff. You should look into anyway, it at some point. No, no, what kind no, of adults play games? Waste. That's ridiculous. Okay. Ridiculous. So yes, like, on board or otherwise. Really fucking weird. If you take the bacon cubes and you stick it in, in the rice noodles, it tastes like that old world ramen. And then you take the powdered eggs and you put that in there because they'd take like an entire raw egg and put it in the ramen. I, no. I'm really choosing to disbelieve you on this point. I don't think you can Stick eat a lunches. video game character. Just I don't know if it works. Wait, how many times are you eating this ramen? Raymond? Ruman? Ra- R- Ruman? No, you. What? Raymond, how many times? Raymond, Raymond you ramen. What the fuck? No, hold on. So like, Raymond was a delicacy, and only the richest could afford it. Like, I'm not it asking wasn't about like you the cost of Raymond. I'm asking cents. you how many times okay, you're eating okay. powdered eggs in a week. How oh, long are we going to be months. asleep this time? Oh, that's a good question. I suppose I should have asked that. Ninety-two days. Yeah. Oh, that's God. for that's for Key. It's up to you whether he tells you that. Uh, oh, out of character. Whoops. <laughs> it'll be, it'll go by in a second. Don't you worry. It always yeah, goes by in a I'm fucking sleepy. second, but it depends on whether I have atrophy or not. Exactly. You don't atrophy in cryosleep. You also oh, don't get fatter. Down. It literally puts sure it, it, it literally puts you in stasis. <laughs> I'm like ninety percent sure. <laughs> Every pound I gain is from cryosleep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I guess I should uh give everyone my spiel. I, I, I do understand that I am not no part of your normal crew. And I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to travel with you. And I guess it is this point that I should point out that uh, you know, if everyone does follow the mission parameters of, uh, of the company, then we should have no problems. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, if you do deviate from any of the mission parameters, it is a full forfeiture of shares. <sighs> Fucking hell, I'm always looking for a reason to dock my pay. So I personally am not docking your pay. However, it is my duty to relay the overall contract parameters. Yes, you are not docking my pay. How generous. Hey, Jordan, do you want to schedule a a halfway through flight poker game? Don't tell Lethem. Invite whoever you trust. We are playing for MREs. Half, halfway through the flat. Yes. Freak up to sleep. It's bad for you. Come on. Frozen Gerald. for like 92 days. How'd you know that number? <laughs> Shit. We've <laughs> <laughs> been looking at my life. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, so uh, maybe um, when I'm flying the ship, I get uh, some of the transmission through my headset. Uh, not on purpose. It's a little bit of bleed, and uh, I'll fix Never it. Never knew how to work those things. God damn it. All right. But no poker game. I call you Jordan, too. I, I just I feel like we could be on a first name basis, Jordan. I, this isn't, I'm just looking at staring daggers at Fitzgerald and then daggers at Higgins. Just, no, you cannot call me Jordan. You should not be calling me Jordan. No one should be call- I. Uh, Here you go, Jordan. Passes your flask. Like, you're, <laughs> takes the flask anyway. Just shaking, <laughs> shaking his head. Kicks it back. Passes it back. That's when the captain walks in. All right, crew. It's time. Start heading to your lockers and get prepped. Doctor, what was your character's last name again, Dwayne? Lethem. Mr. Lethem, is there anything I can do to make your sleep more pleasant? The rest of you, get out of here. I look the Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. No, Captain, I think I am well prepared. Uh, Again, I do appreciate you allowing me to come on this journey. Excellent. 
as soon as Ezekiel's by the shoulder, the, the shoulder of the per ca captain who just walked in, he immediately gets a flask out and starts drinking. All right, before you exit the room, Ezekiel, he just holds his hand out. He doesn't even turn around. <sighs> Fucking hell, get time is up. Fine. You hand it to him. He takes it with his other hand, but he keeps that hand open, says the other one. God damn it! <laughs> He's got another one in his boot. You should make him strip for it. Told you. <laughs> you wanted him to see me naked then, I tell you what. <laughs> You're going to see Nine. him naked in about ten minutes anyways, Lieutenant. Yeah. That's how cryosleep works. <laughs> How is strangely, it might be the year. <laughs> strangely, it might be the twenty one nineties. But your underwear is very seventies. It's weird. Mm. Very strange. Guys, don't look at my disco balls. That's just rude. No one's looking at your disco balls, Fitzgerald. Doc Ruby. and uh, company man, you actually have a separate cryo chamber in the restricted research wing they set up in the ship for you because there's two more scientists and a couple Ooh. support staff is That's... that normal no this is a military ship you were okay. both you were both well aware that you're here because the new planet offers all kinds of opportunity for enhancement of the bioweapons division suck ups who knows what kinds of fantastic new life forms you're going to find down there and that you can uh, exploit the genetics of. Yes. You all empty the choir, enter the cryopods. They close. You drift off to sleep. Even if you're claustrophobic, you calmly drift off to sleep because they pump a lot of drugs into the oxygen in the cryopods. Excuse me, God, may I ask a question? Yes. I mean, mother. Um, so, uh, as he's drifting off, Chase will mutter, it's a titbit nipply in here. I'm sorry, could you rephrase the question, please? Says mother. That's... It's cold, damn it. Increasing temperature now. Yeah. It doesn't get any warmer, and then you pass out. <laughs> By the way, if, if anyone hasn't noticed yet, Chase is kind of dumbass. It's literally just a comfort. Increasing temperature. So, Commander, what do you dream about? Ah. Commander has a... Call it a nightmare, but nothing horrible happens where Fitzgerald wakes him up halfway through the sleep to play poker. <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> but he's not wearing any pants. Yeah. <laughs> None of them are wearing pants, and it's terrifying for some reason. Okay, Fitzgerald and then the Roughneck. What do you dream of? Bacon, mostly bacon squares but like the bacon squares come to life and uh try and smother him and he's clawing at his face and then the rice noodles come to life and rescue him from the bacon squares and then he has acid reflux and cries sleep so sounds strangely familiar to the call of cthulhu <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it. Uh, as far as Ezekiel, just oranges. Just having a single, like having a single orange, and then dividing it up and actually like sharing it with everyone here, his 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 crew, and just sitting down and having a drink and sharing an orange. Now here's because the funny sounds, thing. Sounds sounds good. It's not an orange. It's actually similar to a tangerine and is not native to Earth at all, but his mom always told him it was an orange because he's from a colony. 
But it were, but that, that's what I know is an orange. So, but it's not an orange. It's fine. Lisa, what do you dream of? Uh, Lethem actually doesn't dream. He has nightmares. About? He was sent out to uh, help survey uh, LV-934. And the intelligence that the company had given him was that the planet was safe. And he had sat down with a uh, small group of terraformers. And much like the mission that occurred on Nisa 340, uh, were attacked by a species of that planet. Not as ferocious, but they were not as well equipped. And most of the group had perished himself and five others were able to get out but he still has nightmares about it interesting insight dr lamb dr lamb also dreams about orange she is being offered a variety of different items that are orange and being told to eat them none of them are actually Jeb. It's a confusing dream. And the best part of it really is that she then tries to dissect and study each item in turn. But then it's all taken from her. They're all taken from her because her work has been taken from her. And that's why she's she's here. She's looking for something of her own. So more interesting insights. Elsie Higgins, you have a weird dream. It's about cryosleep, except something's weird because you're violently awoken from the cryosleep when the artificial gravity goes haywire because the ship apparently exceeded the G-force thrust necessary to maintain normal levels, which is used only in an emergency situation, which also activates an emergency cryosleep exit. And then you realize you're not sleeping. Your pot opens first, oh. and the red lights are spinning around, and there's quiet clacks happening. All right, um, just gonna like heads up immediately. Like um, Higgins hasn't experienced this before, but has experienced enough like jolted awake from regular sleep before to like into an emergency situation to immediately be like ready to go. Uh, so he's jumping up, trying to see, um, che immediately checks on the uh, vitals of everyone else in the uh, in the area. Is, any, is every uh, the vitals good? So when you jump up, I'm gonna need you to make a uh, stamina roll. Uh, before we go too much farther, I'm assuming all our stress is gone. Yes. You had a whole week to heal and recover. You have no injuries or stress. Okay, thank you. Zero successes. If I, if that worked, I don't. Zero successes. Uh, actually, wait. I don't know the rules. Two successes. Zero. That's not what the zero means. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, you actually got two successes. It's the eyeball you're looking for. So, the wave of vertigo, the dizziness, and the nausea don't stop you from checking on your friends. Uh, mother is waking them up too. It just happened to be yours was first. Um, I get. I guess at that point, uh, I'm gonna ask mother like, what's going on? Please enter authorization code. You do. And being that this is alien, Mother says, classified information, please enter mainframe, because you've all seen the alien movies. You have to go in that special room to talk to Mother when it's classified. So I'm going to run over and do that. Okay. The ship stops banking and levels out, and then you can tell it's entering powered down mode. Not powered off, but low power mode. You get in the room, and... Uh, 
you ask the same question and the screen pops up with uh, priority mission redirect X7 Alpha 3Z classified clearance is not high enough to read whatever this says saying but what mother does tell you is that uh, the ship had to bank and go down and to power down into low sensor mode because it sensed uh, hostile enemy presence within proximity apparently you had actually entered the system and we're heading towards because remember your station your your planet is at the very tail end of the star system and you were actually approaching for orbit when it detected uh, hostile spacecraft scanning your ship and powering up weapons at extreme range it tells you there's two ships and it gives you information on one of them and it is the enemy faction the other ship it doesn't give you any information on it. It's not that it doesn't have it, it just doesn't tell you. But yes, the hostile vessel is a UPP assault ship. And it was only there for a second before you bumped out to extreme range. Um. Also, there's a string of incoming information from the planet that you were approaching to. A whole bunch of... Uh, data logs about how in the time it took you to get here hostilities had increased from shouting matches to open skirmishes so are we in a, is there an immediate danger then still or are we bumped out to long range there is still immediate danger if you don't okay you're gonna yeah they will follow and track your uh we'll call them ion signatures um your exhaust fumes yeah, then I'm going to go run over to uh, Lieutenant Commander Fitzgerald and make sure he's up and then uh, try to get him up so that we can uh, jump into spacecraft ASAP or whatever, whatever, whatever they call it. Uh, fighters? That would actually Fighter, not be yeah, protocol fighter. because you don't know what the situation is yet. Oh. All right. You still could, um, but you need clearance to do that from your superior officers. I guess I'm going to to Jordan, who I will continue to refer to as Jordan throughout this game, because <laughs> uh, um, he would be my—he's my immediate, right? Correct, Commander Lockwood. You've come out of cryo sleep. You have no idea what's going on when uh, Lieutenant Commander Higgins comes storming in. What is it this time? No, I matter. We uh, we have poker. a situation. We need. We uh, we need. Immediate, uh, we're under attack. Coming out early. We're under attack. We, I need, uh, need to know what to do. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Join Lockwood. Gets out of his chamber. Uh, makes you wonder where the captain is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So first, uh, first order business where is the captain it's a good question lc higgins would that have been so when i checked the first time before i went to see mother he was still getting woken up or she or they or i don't so it's a circular arrangement of pods you took check the readout and it said they were all stable and then the little lights were coming on so you took off cursory oh. inspections what i'm saying you haven't you haven't checked the readout specifically but his pod isn't open. Everyone else's is open, whether they're awake yet or not. Okay, so I'm going to run over to that and see what's up. His pod is shield, sealed shut, and the light is red. Um, also, his lips are blue, and his eyes are bulging out of his skull. That's not normal. He, he's dead. He looks real dead. He is. So now the next question comes up. Do you want this to be the kind of game where secrets happen inside messages or the kind where players know but characters don't? Vote! I vote secret side messages. It makes it more exciting. Uh, yep, side messages. Yeah. Yeah, fair. It's more work for you, Tyler, but... That I makes me the outlier because I like dramatic irony. 
Mm. I can go either way. I like surprises. Side like message drama. has been sent. Cool. Oh. Oops. Yes, I carry on. I hope it wasn't to me because my <laughs> my Discord just froze. <laughs> Uh, Commander Lockwood, uh, it appears that you are now in command of the ship. He did. Captain is dead. For a half second, Lockwood smiles and then he catches himself. Ah, oh, this is terrible. Alright, get everyone else up. Mother! Status report. Transferring command codes to Commander Lockwood. Authorization accepted. We have now received three vessel signatures, two of which are identified as UPP hostiles, one of which is classified. Only information can only be gained in the secret room. It's not a secret room, but I like calling it that. In the secret room. In the mainframe. In the mainframe. All right. Higgins, get everyone else up. And Lockwood goes over to the mainframe to get the Burp. secret information. So, oh. <laughs> you're keeping notes, yes, Duane? Yes. Read back the uh, coded priority message that I completely made up on the fly, and I, don't know, I couldn't repeat it if I tried. X7 Alpha Z classified. Thank you. Uh, is... <laughs> What's the... Or X7, X7, Alpha Z. Is need to know priority only. The only people on the ship with the classification know anything about this would be you and that company man that nobody trusts. But, you know, he pays the checks. He signs the checks. Uh, yeah. This is a unidentified alien species that is sentient and has powered spacecraft. It apparently is more advanced than human technology they've known about them since the 90s they visited earth a few times but they've never been able to capture one or get a sample extremely dangerous shoot on sight however it doesn't Nin seem to be doing 1990s. anything yes mm. you're in the 90s of the 21s but not the 2090s the 1990s yes the There's evidence that they've been time. to Earth several times before that, though. All the way to ancient times. They, uh, hunt humans for sport. This one, though, appears just to be monitoring the, the, what's happening. They're not taking any actions. The other two ships, though, are actively trying to ping you. They're using, uh, sensor lock. All right. Oh, this music is very and, loud. Ooh. And then while you're uh, reading the message and looking at the space map, the third unidentified alien spacecraft just disappears like it was never there. That's not good. Right. Lockwood exits the mainframe, heads back down to the chambers. Make sure everything's all right in there. Okay, so what'll happen now is now that you actually have all the information necessary, we can enter into space combat phase. And I will explain how that works so that you can assign positions to your crew. In an emergency combat situation, you also have authority over the company man and the scientists. All hands on deck. Oops, I'm if I'm in the right book. Okay, so there are four modes to space combat initiative. In the initiative order, uh, you draw a card for your ship or ships, and then I draw a card for the enemy ship or ships, same way you do for ground combat. It's only one card per vessel, not person. Uh, 
In initiative, everybody takes a turn in each phase. The first phase is sensor phase, the second phase is the pilot phase, the third phase is gunner phase, and the fourth phase is engineer phase, and then we repeat. Sensor, pilot, gunner, engineer. Each ship gets one action per phase, if it's capable of taking that action. Positions for the crew in your main ship, not your fighters, include the captain who's in command, gives orders, draws initiative. Sensor operator. This is a comm tech position. Pilot, someone has to pilot this ship. A gunner or gunners. And an engineer or engineers. And that's when the rest of the message that's when the rest of the message comes in. Your ship has scanned the signature of the incoming enemy vessels and it recognized one of them as a very specific UPP vessel that is carrying sensitive information that the United Americas and Wayland yutani want. Your mission just changed from blow them up and or survive to blow one up and or survive and mount a boarding operation on the other. You have to get your ship close enough to launch boarding pods at it with your marines, which takes all of your marines off the table to be used in any position to keep the ship going because they all have to lock into their pods. Oh. By the way, Good getting that close, real dangerous. I believe it. I can do it. I believe in you. Assign your crew, oh, Commander. Fitzgerald, you don't even know what an orange is. How do I trust you to fly this thing? Because <laughs> I'm the best fucking pilot you've ah, got. Okay, wait, you know what? I was going to let you fly it, but now I... I uh... Lock, Lockwood ah, glares at Fitzgerald with hey, like, hey. a burning passion and then nods. All right, you're flying. Who, who, sorry, who, who's flying? Fitzgerald is flying. Okay. Give him the death glare before nodding. Higgins. Because he wants me to die first. <laughs> I mean, Higgins, that means you're going to need to uh, man uh, one of the fighters. Yep. There is a second fighter. I don't think me with my zero piloting is going to man that fighter. Yeah, you're the engineer of this vessel. You're right. You are uh, correct, sir. I Doctor. do not have pilot either. No pilot, but what's your comm tech? Um, I'm looking for that. Two. Two. And what's your ranged combat looking like? Zero. Okay, yeah, you're on sensors. Cool. Uh, and agent. Agent Leatham. Yes. What's your ranged combat looking like? Zero as well. Okay, have you ever commanded a ship before? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> never. I, never. Okay, so yeah, you, you're on you guns can, anyway. Get going. You can you can actually take a position key and give commands. Oh, I, okay, I'll. Agent out Ethan, of, sit but you can't office. fly the other fighter. Out of character, um, I have range combat of three, but also piloting of three, and my agility is at five. I don't know if you want me in a fighter or maneuvering the big ship, but it has skills. Uh, what? The main ship. You also have one NPC on, you right? can apply anywhere you want that will have a pseudo two points of whatever you need it to be. Okay, yeah, the NPC's going on gunners. Uh, okay. And you'll major roll for minor. the NPC. You guys can pick who rolls for the NPC out of here. You don't want me to. My rolls are shit. Like these. It will always be four dice for the NPC. Sure, I'll do it. Cool. Okay. Position you're giving yourself. Key. Ah. Uh, hmm. So you said I could be in two positions? Well, one of them is giving orders. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Giving orders, and if it comes down to it, getting on a gun. Okay. And where did you put the company, man? On guns? Uh, so if the company man would like to be on guns, he may be on guns. I don't know how that would go. Well, you are, you are effectively in command, Lieutenant Commander. So put me where you need Full me. Full Commander. I will Full bitch and complain now. the entire time, but <laughs> I'm not looking to die today. 
If you're not looking to die, you can be in my office. If you're looking to save our butts, save our asses, get on a gun and just walk away. Excellent. Wow. So, only you, Key, need to actually see the space map that's in Astral. That's range bands. The farther away you are, the, the more penalties you have to shooting and sensing. The closer you get, the less penalties you get to both. You have to have a target lock to shoot. Target lock requires sensors. So we're going to go all over that now. Uh, spaceships can also accelerate and decelerate. Obviously, spaceships are fast. Uh, drastically changing speed and vector is difficult. So, uh, at default, all ships move two zones per turn, except the fighters. The fighters move three. Mark that down if you need to. One of the actions you can take... And the piloting turn is accelerate or decelerate. Obviously, that does what you think it does. Fighters can accelerate to four. Uh, your, your big ship can accelerate to three. Obviously, they can all decelerate to stop. Question so far? No questions so far. Okay. Sensors can have extreme range, which means up to eight range bands, in order to actually ping another ship. Uh, they automatically detect unless you're in reduced signature mode, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, you all have transponders, which that's how that's how Mother knows that one of those ships is specifically one year after. Uh, you cannot run with your transponder turned off, but you can run in reduced signature mode when in combat. So, the way you do that is power down engines and power down sensors. Powering either one back on is a full action for that phase. Engines is obviously engineering, sensors is sensing. Uh, you can leave your engine on, turn your sensors off to be slightly signal hidden, but then you can't track them. So, uh, here's the things the sensor operator can do. Target lock. Mother? Yes. Forget these raiders. We've got better raiders in chat. The Nat 30s. The Nat 30s. Uh, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, thanks for the cheers. Yes, thank you for the bits. Bits are awesome. And so are cheers. I think close. Hold on a second. <laughs> It's not anything to do with you ever, don't worry. Okay, here we go. I threw off your groove. I'm sorry. Nope, Adobe crashed because groove. Adobe decided I had too many PDFs open. Uh, sensor operator actions. Target lock. That is a contact roll modified by the range. If you succeed, sensors are locked and now you can shoot. Uh... Unless the ship goes dark, though, you never have to sensor lock again. You still have to you maintain that action keep shooting it, but you never have to make the roll again. That's only if they go dark. Both sides can go dark. This is reactive. It doesn't actually take your turn. This is also a comtech action, though. And then powering up sensors is a turn, but no roll is required. Pilots can accelerate, decelerate, maneuver. This is an opposed piloting roll against the enemy. Uh, if you win, you can trade initiative cards with the enemy. That's how you get ahead of their enemy. Thank you, Key. You can ram, <laughs> or you can dock. You don't have to do either of those to get your marines on board because you have boarding pods, but you could if you wanted to. Uh, and then as the uh, gunner positions have fire weapons, launch countermeasures, only two actions. Engineers can do emergency repairs, power up the engines, open the airlock, or overload the reactor. Uh, powering up the engines isn't just turning the ship on and off. You can also do that to go faster, to exceed the safe normal limits of the ship. Fighters, oh, hell yeah, let's put <laughs> fighters can do target lock, power up, and power down sensors, accelerate, decelerate, maneuver, dock, fire weapon, 
or reactor overload, but they can't do any of the big ship functions. Questions on any of that? Um, what page is the uh, fighter actions on? It's the same chart, there's just less of them. The same chart key just put in uh, Discord. Oh. Okay. How many turns will power to vengeance last? In overdrive? Or when you have to just turn them on from cold? Uh, overdrive, obviously. Guess you'll find out if you try. That'll be a heavy machinery <laughs> roll to figure that out. <laughs> okay. Key, page 181, you can dump that too. Oh, 181. 181 is offensive armaments and defensive countermeasures, so gunners of all ships can see what they have. Don't worry about the cost, just worry about the bonus and the damage. Bonus is extra dice added to your attack pool. Once you've got that posted, I will tell you what your ships have. First for you, JT. You have four wing-mounted AGM-660 Warhawk tactical missiles. That should be on that chart he's about to post for us. The CM-88G Bison or the Corvus? Uh, switching back to that book. You can just post the whole page if you want, yeah. Oh. But it'll be the... Uh, Oh, nope, not that one. Uh, not that page PDF one. page 181, not the book page 181. Ah. Sorry. Alright. My bad. So basically you have long-range ASAT missiles for the chart that's about to appear, JT. Four of them. Ah. You also have two Gatling cannons and one phase plasma pulse cannon turret. So... Just remembered I'm not Ruth. Can't get the second. Next time. Yeah. Ah, can't type. That's you, JT. In Discord. Big Ship. Big Ship obviously has more than that. Big Ship has the following. Eight short-range ASAP missiles. A heavy railgun turret. Ten tactical nukes. A medium railgun turret. And a Sea Whiz laser array. These are your upgrades. Uh, if those come up, I'll tell you. <laughs> and then, for purposes of dice rolls, use your stats. Including hull integrity, armor rating, and thruster bonus. Armor rating for a ship works just like for when it's your marines. Uh, oh, we're, I roll we're damage, gonna... and then you roll armor, and then if you can negate some or all of the damage with your armor roll, you get to. If it gets past we're your there. armor, it starts taking points off your hull, and that's where Ezekiel comes in. <laughs> Questions on any of that? How much can thrusters go up to like plus two to plus what? Four. Plus four. Okay. Yeah, double. Anything above double is basically instant. Then turbine blades start coming, melting. <laughs> okay. Questions from anyone? Oh uh, yeah, but I'm definitely gonna have some. All right, let's entertain these raiders in this audience then. All right, initiative time. Key, roll a d8. Oh yeah. And you also, JT, roll a d8. If you both roll the same number, one of you has to re-roll. Commander got a four. a four. JT got a six. Yeah. 
Ooh. <laughs> My dice still think it's Monday. The big bad ship's got a three and a one. But their fighters got a seven. I thought you sacrificed the gods of Ch was it Chaos. Okay. And here's where the wild card comes in. The strange ship with the super secret, top secret, shouldn't know about this code, reappears on your radar signature about the time Higgins gets in his fighter and takes off. He's like, I got this commander, but you're like, oh, he's going to die because there's four fighters and one of him. Until that ship that had been invisible suddenly reappears on your radar out of nowhere and blows two of the enemy fighters out of the sky and then immediately disappears again. Apparently, they don't like an unfair fight. So, remember that when making your own actions. Oh, it's fucking epic. Okay. Sorry. Can Two to I one, though, that? is apparently a fair fight. Especially when it's Lieutenant Commander John Higgins. <laughs> His name is Higgins. John Higgins. So there's two fighters? There were four fighters coming at him. Now there's two. There's four fighters. Now there's two. Okay, so it's 2v2. So, so they're okay with... No, it's 2v1. So they're, they're okay right. with... In terms of fighters, yeah. They're okay with stacked odds, just not impossible odds. Got it. That's what it appears to be, yes. Okay. The enemy fighters bank around you and take shots, but you're L.C. Higgins and you do some crazy Tom Cruise and uh, Will Smith loop -de loops And only one of them manages to graze your hull. You can roll your armor dice, which we didn't give you. Hold on! Is there a... Uh Character sheet for the ship that I should be looking that I'm supposed to be looking at right now. It doesn't have a character sheet, this? but if you have the marine book open, it is in the marine book on PDF page ninety five. Ninety five. Right. You have maneuverability of three plus three. So whenever you make a pilot roll, you get three bonus dice. A hull of seven and armor of five. So roll five armor dice. Which are D6? Yep, they're all D6s, correct. Okay. I have a good feeling. Got a six, two fours, a three, and a one. So you remove one point of damage, and it was short range missile. Oh, that's not good. So your hull takes two points of damage from a hit. Your hull is down to five. Chit, 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 chit. And now it's your turn. The blast rocks you sideways, but it doesn't get through the hole yet. That's going to take it. The paint job is ruined, and you're probably mad. Um, well, I'm a risk taker. That's my uh, agenda. Principle or whatever it's called in this game. Um, so... Looking at this, I can... I get one action... Correct. Uh, so, the because fighters yeah. the fighters take a different uh, set of actions. You get one pilot action, and you'll get one attack action. You don't need sensor lock in the fighter. Gotcha. Okay. So um, basically, you can either move first and then shoot, or shoot and then move. I don't care which order you do it in the fighter. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play chicken with this thing and accelerate directly into it. Um, and then fire Gatling cannons. Okay. So, so we're going to call that the opposed pilot roll because you're trying to perform a maneuver. So make your okay. pilot check with an additional three dice, and they will do the same with less bonus dice because their space fighters aren't as good as yours. They got well, two successes. Is... Oh, 
I have a. Am I doing this correct? I have a dice pool of eleven because my agility is five pilot and three plus three bonus dice. Yep, okay. that's correct. You are way better than them. All right, and sixes are successes. Yep. Yep. Well, I only got one, but I got one six on the roll. Okay. That's you can push the roll to try to get that second success. Reroll all oh, the dice. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Reckless. I'm doing something reckless, which gives me. That's my. Uh, And you should totally push that roll. Reckless, you live for the rush of adrenaline through your veins, pushing, uh, you can push any skill roll based on agility twice, not just once like other characters. Each push increases your stress level by one. That's the other thing I should point out. If you panic, there's a whole separate chart in Space Count Bench. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah. do you, you can do your first push, JT, which you only roll ten dice because one was a success. And then add one stress. I feel like on 10 dice, you, get, you should get more than one six on average. Ooh, two more successes. You two have now defeated them, so you don't have to push twice. And then from now on, remember that you've got an extra dice in your pool that's the stress die, but if that one comes up a one, then you roll panic. Okay, you outmaneuver him, so now you can fire your Gatling guns and you will do uh, extra damage. So basically, now you just do a range attack with the panic dice added to the pool. Range, range attack, and one of them is a panic dice. Yep. And I missed last week, so I don't know what that is. Just make sure you know which dice is the panic die, because if that rolls a one, bad stuff happens. Gotcha. One success uh, and two, uh, three ones, but not the panic die. Okay. okay. One success is all you need to hit because you outmaneuvered him, so. Uh... Oh, right. The Island Cannon's on a different damage chart. <laughs> Hold on. So, is it the 23 or 20 or 25 millimeter? 25. How much damage? Oh, uh, three damage. Three damage, and he outmaneuvered, so we're doubling that to six. How much armor does the fighter have? Those are armor piercing. By how much? Uh, it just says armor piercing. Okay. I don't know how much armor piercing does. <laughs> if it doesn't have a stat next to it, it tells me the default amount. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it just says armor piercing full auto. <laughs> So, describe this maneuver however you want it to come out, but in the end, uh, when you fired the cannon, you got him right in the cockpit, and, like, it went through the glass and killed the pilot. So, describe the maneuver how you would like it to picture in your head. Alright, so, they're doing some of this, they're doing a little bit of this, and then they come at each other. Do a barrel like roll! <laughs> and... And yeah, <laughs> yep. So barrel roll is shooting the gallon cannons at the thing, just right in the thing. There's no explosion or anything because it's just basically a sniper shot directly into the cockpit, and then pulls up at the last second as that one continues to cream. Yep, and the other fighter just kind of stops the engine stop, and it just tilts and starts floating through space. Okay, Beautiful. that is not aggressively terrifying. I love it. Good job. Dwayne, remind everyone what the name of your ship is. I'm sorry, not Dwayne. Key. Ah. Thing about that is, I am having trouble remembering <laughs> All right, Dwayne. my own ship. That is no the taker. USS Ossipon. It Ossipon. is the Ossipon's turn, Commander. What are your orders? All right. Very first. A very now, first you, now, you are. You do have to do your order in your actions in order, so you have to do sensor turn first. Very first thing, if I can see Higgins, I'm saluting him through a window. <laughs> he can't thing. see you, but you can see him. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, sensors. All right. You are still at extreme Fine. range, so you could have him try to do a target lock if you want, or you could try something else. All right. 
So there is still that invisible ship, right? The Predator, yeah. yeah. The unknown assailant, sorry, yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, wait, oh, what? Yeah. what? Huh? <laughs> I mean, yes, he is very predatorial. Yeah, Whoever he seems, that he, pilot he is. Seems, he seems like an, an incredibly good predator, but I wouldn't call him um, I, I have a question. Would the good doctor's... Uh, whatever it's called, their talent analysis be helpful at all with sensors, or is it only when she's looking at something in person? This is on page 77 of the core book. Read it to us. Analysis. You can roll for observation to gain insight regarding strange and alien artifacts or creatures that you encounter and get a chance to study for at least one turn. For every six you roll, you get to ask the GM one of the questions below. Uh, is it human or alien? Is it dead or alive? How old is it? What is its purpose? Which could be helpful. How does it work? Might also be helpful. What problems could it cause? The GM must answer truthfully, but is allowed to be vague or have incomplete answers to avoid spoiling the scenario. A successful analysis role also reduces the stress level of all other PCs within short range by one while a failed roll increases other PC's stress level by one. If he has you, commands you to scan the enemy, the alien ship, yes, that will work. If he has you scan the enemies, no. That won't work on the UPP. The artwork I posted is for your, the doctor and the commander. That's what it looks like. The alien ship. Snazzy. Right. The enemy ship looks really weird. I'll show you a picture. We're going to need more information about the alien ship, so... Doctor, scan the ship. Yes, sir. So these are the two command vessels. These are the enemy fighters. This is JT. So, uh, that one's not at extreme range. That one's only a minus two penalty to your dice roll. Only. Uh, given that I only have a two in ComTech, I want to make sure that I'm constructing my dice pool correctly. Your ship Is might it... actually have a bonus. Let's check that first. Let's find out. Uh... Oh, because I'm using the ship? I hope so. Correct. Uh, boosted displacement. Enhanced sensors, yes. So, you have no penalty. Minus two plus two equals no penalty. Cool. All right. The three die. No. Because I have no stress as of yet. Uh, it would be... Observation plus Comtech. Oh, apologies. One success. Okay. You get to ask one question then, in addition to whatever else I give you. So I'll tell you what you get first. It's made out of a, mm, uh, the composite metal it's made out of is unknown to mother. There's no idea what that is. Also, it has some kind of uh, coating on it that makes the normal sensor penetration that would like do a sonar image of the inside of the ship. Impossible. You can't read anything that's on the inside. It has two life forms. The signatures are very weird, though. They have a very different temperature level than human norm, and it appears they have two hearts. Humans are very inefficient with their one heart. My lords. <laughs> you wish. Oh. Uh, weapon signatures also unknown no missiles all energy what's your one question how does it work uh, idea being I would like to know where to tell them to shoot it Oh, uh, <clears throat> so 
the two bits that are coming out of the side in the picture I sent you in Discord mm -hmm. they are actually the thrusters. The thrusters are not in the back. Those things in the back are maneuvering thrusters. They're actual acceleration thrusters or the wings. It's heavily armored everywhere, though, but the struts are probably the weakest spot. Oh, and the hot dog wizard who asked a question like 90 years ago. Predators are not official in the game yet, but they are coming. Many fans have converted them already, though. Alright, uh, do I, at this point, convey things back to the captain, or does it go and do we do that? That's the automatic. Point? Okay. Anything you do, he knows. Awesome! Right. That saves me time. Okay. Enemy ships are going to attempt to sensor lock you. Oh, one of them got a target lock. All right. Kind of surprised. The three dice for that. So, it moves to the next phase of initiative, which means it's pilot phase. What are your orders, Commander? All right. Is there any enemies within the same zone as us? One fighter. One fighter? Okay. You don't feel like you should have to worry about that, though. So. Higgins mm. apparently has that handled. Okay, yeah. Mm. Alright, yeah. My plan was to ram it, but I feel like that might not be the best idea. Try and close in with the alien ship. Okay. Wait, wait, we're fighting the aliens? That Apparently your commander cares more about that than the mission, yes. Oh, wait. Shoot. Okay, which ship are we trying to get onto? One of the two UPP ships. Right. Commander's a little confused. <laughs> commander's, okay. Commander should not have been drinking before cryo sleep. the <laughs> the alien, the alien ship... Yeah. And the, the alien ship is an unknown vector in the whole situation, but there's sensitive information on the UPP ship that the United Americas want. Like, right. military information. Okay. And the UPP ship is... One of those two really weird-looking ones I sent you a picture of. They're both at extreme range at the opposite end of the map, so seven, seven sectors from you. And one of them is target-locked you. Hmm. Full speed towards the... Uh... Uh, mm, full speed towards the target locked ship okay pilot accelerate roll that means you're rolling piloting plus uh, mobility not mobility <laughs> piloting plus agility and I have to check and see if you have a bonus from the ship for that You do. Plus two dice for the thrusters. Is it me? Is it my yep. time to shine? Yes. Piloting plus agility plus two. It's your time out here. <laughs> okay. Um. Because I am still brain stuck in other games, those are modifiers or those are how many dice I roll? That's a dice pool. Dice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, five, six, seven, eight. I need more dice. Or dice. This is gonna be fun. Listen to this. Yeah. And then what's the it's sixes, right? Yep. Yep. Two successes. Two actually lets you move two range bands forward. You don't have to do that, though, on the Astral. I'll do that. Because only Key needs to see this. Ah! Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme. Give I did it again, Duane. I made it a map object. It's not smart. Oh. <laughs> two range bands. There we go. Okay. Uh, 
right. Whoops. Excuse us while we break the astro map. <laughs> Their turn. Maneuvering phase is done, Key. You can see the new map arrangement. Uh, target lock uh -huh. is the one I've got you facing, not the one at the bottom. For ease of reference. So to break target lock, we need to go dark, right? Yep, that's the only way. Gunner phase! Okay. Hmm. Damn it, they're ready. We don't have a lock. <laughs> right. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, I mean, stand you have a ready, lock yeah. on the Predator ship. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you can follow a, through with that. Also, yeah, don't forget, there, there are two actions gunners can take. Shoot and launch countermeasures. Because hmm. one of them enemy ships has target lock on Now, did Agent... Them get onto the, any of the guns. Yes. Right. Now, countermeasures is a reaction, but you can still order him to use them if they fire with missiles. So, Locke would, ju would just. More as an open invitation, say to the gunning squad, prepare countermeasures. Okay. Without addressing Lethem directly. The ship that had target lock fires a nuke at you. So yeah, fire them countermeasures. Oh, that's uh, fun. Uh, <laughs> to range and agility. Yep, range combat plus agility, and I don't think that you have a boost for that. I uh, don't. Nope, uh, no bonus for that. Nope. Could I at any point roll the command to give him bonus dice? Yeah, once per round. Go ahead and do it now if you want. This is the time to do it. Yep. Probably. <laughs> this is the time. Right, and that is... No successes. I would like to push the limit. Do it. Give yourself one stress. That would be three successes and a one on that stress. Day. You what have plus three dice that? to your roll. And I right. have to find the appropriate stress die. Or chart. Lockwood, white. Every single stress die you roll. It's a what? What the hell, man? It keeps things interesting. <laughs> Look, I'm all for chaos, okay? But holy crap! One second, I gotta find where I can't remember what page number that chart's on. It's on page of the PDF 205. Holtz? No, this is the space combat stress chart. Yes, it's not the yeah. regular stress chart. Space combat panic rolls. Yep. Okay. Roll it. I got a four. So. Keeping it together. Yep, that keeps it together. Okay. Well done. Countermeasures. Countermeasures go. Two successes. That's good. Because all of me saying they have low dice pulls applies to everything but combat. These are warships. Oh. Pirates, yeah. you see. Two successes means I eliminate two dice. Correct. It was a Fire. pleasure fighting alongside you all. They come in for that booty. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I actually brought them back to zero. And they still hit, so go ahead and roll armor dice key. Your ship has nine. Uh, oh. 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 Yeah. 
Oh, that's one. One. One success. Okay. So the nuke... uh, The nuke floats towards your ship and then magnetizes to the hull Mm. and explodes. Now... The energy from a nuclear device is not as effective in space. It actually does very little damage to your ship, but it creates a massive shockwave. So, effectively, every ship, both fighters, the one that's docked and the one you're in, as well as the ship you're on, go into uh, silent running mode, whether you want them to or not. The engine shut down, the sensors shut down, you are essentially floating in space, and you get knocked back one square each. That was not an well, effect done to damage you. That was an effect done to slow you down. I was feeling a little bit unused this combat round. <laughs> not, not anymore. <laughs> I think I'll have some work to do now. Engineering phase. Yes. I'm gonna Turning go the engines stuff. back on is probably a good choice here. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds great. <laughs> Heavy machinery plus wits. The whole time Lockwood is yelling at you over the comms. That he's just like over and over going, Lockwood! Lock, Lockwood! <laughs> oh, jeez. I gotta get my dice right. Excuse me. I swear to Christ, if you don't get these engines running. Yes, sir, Lockwood! Good. There's going to be a lot more drinking in your future, I tell you what. Drink no it shit, when sir, you are like, in the Ooh! service. God damn it. Uh, I, think, I think I might turn on the engines. That's uh, four successes. You are successful. However, it will take two turns for the engines to fully charge back up. Fair. Yep. And that's where we take our break, because we are right on time. Oh. And he tells he tells Lockwood it's gonna take three turns to turn on the engines, <laughs> Sir Lockwood. Turn the goddamn knob, then. Come on. I'm I'm going as fast as I can, sir. It's, it's our like, ranch. How many as, turns does it need? It's like we're in a submarine. Turn the wheel. <laughs> he, he takes Get a the wrench and he just pumping. throws it. <laughs> All right. We will be back in 10 minutes, audience. Don't go anywhere. Because if you do, you won't see if they live or not. We shall return!
And we've returned to space combat, which means it's a new round and it's the last remaining fighter's turn. Takes a shot at you, Higgins. Go ahead and roll your armor. No successes. No successes. Okay. I have to look at his weapons again. There it is! Phased Plasma Pulse Cannon Turret. That sounds fun. He's gonna do that to you. Uh, where the heck is it? There it is. Ooh! How much hell you got okay. left? Four? Or five? Yeah. Um, I started with six, I think. Or maybe I have five left. Okay. I, I didn't mark it. Did I mark it down? I did not mark it up. You started with six. No. Yeah, you started with a hole of seven. You lost one to six. Haha! <laughs> Your hole is at zero. So am I the first player kill? Nope. This campaign? You have you oh. have to penetrate the hole to be disabled. However, oh. you are heavily damaged. Smoke is going, there's fires inside the cockpit, you're spinning a little, you've lost an engine. So you're displeased. And now it's your turn. Um, do they have any mechanics for, like, when you're at low hall, like, the negative bonuses and stuff? Just to rolls, or...? Uh, no, you can't repair a fighter. You can't do that from... Cause... But I'm not, uh, but I also am, like, uh, operating at full capacity, functionally, like, in terms of maneuvering and stuff? Or... Yeah, nothing is yeah. nothing is removed until your hull is penetrated. Gotcha, okay. Um... Can I shoot twice? Or I don't. I'm, nope, I'm only trying one. Trying to like con conceptualize, like one action uh, per phase. You can shoot and move. So I'm going to move towards it, and then I'm going to shoot it with a rocket. Okay, Just... roll range attack. One, two, three successes. Okay, its countermeasures were useless. It will roll. Soak, what's the damage on the missile, Dwayne? Which missile? The, um, 
Uh, short range um, ASAT. Three damage. Looks like three. Long, long range, but same. Yeah. Oh, it's still yes. Oh, four. It's still three. Long range is four. Oh, long, long range now. is four. Yeah. Okay. Check its hull. Hull is six. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you heavily damage it, but you don't you don't destroy it. It has two hull left. You still have a move action. You could try to outmaneuver it and switch initiative positions. It's the only way you're going to live. <laughs> or if it rolls badly on its next attack. Oh, okay. So... It's an opposed pilot roll. Alright, then yeah. Let's try that. He got one success. Beautiful. Because I get 11 dice for this. Oh, you have 12 dice. Add one to your stress, because your stress is a 2 now. I gotta roll two, two dice separately. Correct. I don't have different color dice. Stress dice, nothing. And one, two, three successes. You win. Next turn, you'll go first. Back to you, Commander. All right, engines are still down. Yep, they won't be up till next turn. As far as you know, two turns from now. And they won't be up till the end of next turn. Meaning after your maneuver phase. Oh. So sensors and guns are still. Sensors are offline, but it only takes one turn to power those up. Ah, okay. So naturally, get the sensors back online. Yep. Flip my desk at this rate. <laughs> Can't move. Can't shoot. In all, in all fairness, like, the engineers go as fast as you can. I'm sorry. Can I get more engineers? <laughs> I wouldn't actually change anything. You still only get the one roll. Well, there'd be assist rolls. I guess that would change that. Which means the only thing you can do on this turn is the engineering phase. Remember, you do have the NPC that can help. NPC is is assigned to weapons. Didn't you, Didn't you assign it to weapons? I assigned yes. it to weapons. Yes. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. 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 And engineer phase. Do I still have to roll, or not? Unless he commands you to do something. You gotta continue powering up that engine. Power! Turn the wrench! God damn it! Yes, sir. I will turn faster, Mister Lockwood. Okay. The other ship also gets <laughs> target lock, so now they both have target lock. God, wait, hold on. Our sensors are down now. Yeah, that means they had is a that penalty. Is technically dark? We're going Just dark. All that does is give them a penalty. And they both shoot. Countermeasures time. Countermeasures! Uh, we do actually have uh, bonuses to countermeasures. We have a Sea Whiz. Roll it! Plus These two. are not nukes, because that nuke did what it wanted it to do. Arkin commands at the agent again before he goes. Yeah, that's enough. Nothing? No. Alright. Uh, is this still ranged combat? Yeah. That is one success. Yay, drugs! Oh, wait, my mic was on. Shit. Oh, I was muted, Key. Roll your armor twice. Yay, drugs. 
my armor twice. Oh god. Oh yep, god. They hit you with two particle beams. Oh no. God, it's oh, infectious. No. Oh no. Yeah, that's one. And then that is none. I would look I would like to push my armor's limit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Spank my Wait, what? buddy has given a boost to you, Key. I'd like to spend my boost on my armor. Yes, that hot I'd allow. Hot Dog Water actually gave one as well before he left. Or Hot Dog Wizard. <laughs> I don't know why hot, hot Dog, dog Water. <laughs> so that's two point more dice you can try for. Yeah, that's a valiant effort. No successes with okay. those dice. <laughs> push it. Push it good. You can't. You can't push armor. Not with that attitude. Come on, armor! Come on! <laughs> Do it! All right. This is sentient armor. It works. My grandmother could protect me better than you. <laughs> your ship... Your ship is heavily damaged now. Oh, <sighs> All right. That moves us to the engineering phase. Which means now you're going to want to initiate emergency repairs. You'll... Oh, so we're dropping the engine, or is the engine already on? That, you, know, you already had to roll for that once. It just takes two turns to power up. Okay, yeah. Emergency repairs. <laughs> Heavy machinery. Plus you wits. It, that's a patch job. I've seen little girls do better patches. I've seen Yes, sir, Mr. Lockwood! <laughs> He is so getting all of his pay docked. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, all right. So eight dice. Rosie's Marine is going to come and kick the commander's ass now for that comment. Like four-year-olds. I meant children. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm definitely pushing that. Oh, Jesus. Eight dice. Would anybody like to guess how many of them I have to re-roll? Just saying. All of them? All of them? Oh my god, Gold oh. Star! Gold Star, Star to the, the Commander! To the gold Commander! Star. Oh yeah. yeah! And he got he got a critical failure, so fuck this shit! You're fired! I'm removing you from my crew! Bye! <laughs> Did you fail on the push roll too? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> nice. Eight, eight fucking dice. Eight dice. Nice. So Key, I'm gonna need you to roll a d6. Sure. Great. I resign from my position. Uh, how many dice am I rolling? A single d6. Just tell me what you get. I thought I was going to die first. I'm going to be the only one left alive. Yeah. <laughs> Got a four? Hmm. Excellent. Your cryopods are damaged heavily. <laughs> Emergency repairs failed, and he shorted out the cryopods. Shit. Oh no, he murdered the commander. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's such a such a shame. Uh, All right, JT, it's your turn. Um, I'm gonna shoot first. Okay. Ask questions later. Um, what I have, and I I haven't used the phase plasma pulse cannon yet. That sounds cool. That does sound fun. That is a plus one to attack. <laughs> Yes, that, that is, is indeed how we fire people out the airlock. Nine, uh... Nine, nine dice. On that roll. And it is armor piercing. One success. How much damage? Six. You, you know you want to wait. That one you cut right in half, and the two halves just float away, because things don't actually explode in back here. <laughs> At least not in the alien universe. The two it's halves like just that. float away, sparking. It's like in Titan A when in the opening scene where he's cutting through that gigantic spaceship and he just kicks it away. Uh, you could move if you wanted to, but your ship is pulling away rapidly at the moment. Ah, is it? Zeph um, Tanzerin is giving us all the bonus. We need it. Um, man, this is not going well, so I'm trying to think what I would move to do next. Thank you, Zeph -Tick. Higgins, Probably. get your ass back in the the hangar. Alright, fine. 
I will So that you can die ship. with the rest yeah. of us. What you can do, Higgins, is use your turn to catch up to the ship, Doc. Use your next turn to get in the other fighter, and then the turn after that to take off in that fighter and help in the fight. The undamaged one. You have a very optimistic view about what's going on right now. <laughs> that you think I will be alive in three turns, but sure. Let's do that. Alright, that's back to you, Commander. Your ship has engines again. Yeah, but all right. you can't use them this turn. But you can sensor lock. Alright. We need we need better locking mechanisms. Right. So you do you do you want me to target lock? Please target lock the nearest ship. The nearest ship or the one that you don't Not the nearest, nearest ship. That's not the aliens. No, <laughs> not the aliens. The, and not the, the priority ship. I will right, I, I was actually looking for ask, Don't target the one we're supposed to board. <laughs> uh, so which ship am I targeting? The one that you're not trying to keep intact. All right. Which means uh, you have plus one bonus because you lose some of your bonus. <sighs> okay. Uh, so it's is it just Comtech or it's Comtech Observation? Both. Awesome. But I lose one die. You add one die. You I lose. You would have gotten three die, but you lose two. Okay. Your ship is fancy. One success. One's enough for a target lock. They don't need to resume target lock, so that means we move on to uh, piloting phase. Commander, get closer, farther away. What do you want to do? If my engines are working, get closer. All right, you don't have engines till the end of the turn, but they do. <sighs> it's okay. That's what they're trying to do: is get closer to you. Boy, that one ship that you need to keep intact is really sucks to fly. They just really want to give us hugs. Okay. And I want to give them hugs and I'll pet them and I'll hug them and I'll cherish them forever. Peace hugs. Peace hugs. Except that Again. I got boosted. Tell Ezekiel to stop talking about hugs. And I used that boost on the other ship. Oh no. Oh no. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> now you're at point blank range with one and only two seconds from the other. I think I think uh I think it was spank my Betty. Oh was yeah, the first and one. spank my Betty. You got two bonuses there, Tyler. Yeah. yeah. I'll hail yep, the I know. <laughs> We're gonna use the other oh. one in the shooting phase, but the commander's first. I have an idea. What's your idea? Spank my Betty gives bonuses. You've been spanked. Oh we I'll all get spanked. Out. We all getting spanked. Ah, uh, yeah, just wait until after this combat. Y'all are getting spanked. <laughs> all right, Key. Uh, it's, yeah. it's targeting phase. <laughs> it is targeting phase. We only have one lock. This is the one that shall die. Uh, what do you want to shoot at it? Ooh. <laughs> the biggest gun we have. Ooh. That's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The yes. one that kills the blaze. <laughs> what is the most over the top weapon we have on this ship? Uh, we got the rail guns. Uh, yeah. The ship itself. Yes, the rail of course, guns are the ram. most over the top. <laughs> Ramming speed. Uh, rail guns. Ram them and overload Hold the on, reactor. Dwayne. Everything will be fine. Dwayne, plus two to your roll from the co shooter. Plus two dice. Plus two. And if I may bark some commands. Yep, do it. Bark away. Bark in time. Although right. I don't appreciate it. That is one, two, three, four successes, and I would like to push the limit. Do it. To reroll that. This one's stress. Mm. While we are rolling these dice. Just got a boost from Spank My Betty. Thank you, Spank My Betty. Total of five successes and bonuses. There you go. All right, Gunner. You're going Don't to die. fail. Okay, I'm going to be rolling a total of ten dice. Oh, heck yeah. 
Can I say Ichi Double Hockey Sticks? Oh, hell yeah! That sounds much better. This is alien, just... yeah. Uh, this, is a, this is rated R, right? Actually, does the real gun give me any? If it does, it'll say it in the description. So I'm looking it does for not it. look like the real gun gives you bonuses, no. No! No! Nobody can hear that uh, agent left them more in space. Oh, uh, no bonus, but that's five damage. Okay. With armor piercing. Yes, with armor piercing. Uh, roll. <laughs> no successes. I will push. Okay. Add a stress. Roll again. Do it. One. One success. That's all you need to hit. Agent, are you here to save our lives or are you here to waste ammunition? I've I never done it. this before. I'm a company man. I sit in offices and sign papers. Well, don't you that sound like ship. a bad decision now? <laughs> when you said you didn't know how to command a ship, I thought that maybe telling me you don't even know how to fire a gun would be important information. Ah. I can fire so, regular guns. I know something awesome, company man. Yeah. Your shot penetrated, and I rolled a random thing to destroy. You killed their mother. Oh, sweet. The AI is down. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like... Is that Minus lots of dice to everything. <laughs> that kills you. Almost you. No, it doesn't kill the ship. It just penalizes everything it can do. Killed its mother. Uh, does that make me a motherfucker? I, I <laughs> <laughs> Quick, get on comps. Yes. Tell them. Yes. Tell As them mom, what you I approve and appreciate. Yes. <laughs> so, the undamaged ship misses. The damaged ship. Roll the six with two dice. So roll your, <laughs> roll your, roll your armor. Ah, what the hell. Three successes. Nice. Okay. Uh. Give me a D four, Commander. Oh no. That's a one. Ooh, give me another D4, Commander. I was hoping for not one. Uh, uh, that's a three. <laughs> Hull breach, you lose three Marines. Oh no! Oh no! And it's now okay. we got like. 40 and now, something. here comes the good part. Percentile dice from each of you to see if any of you are one of the three. Oh. Starting with ever. <laughs> just, roll, just roll percentile and don't call higher or lower. Just tell me what you get. Okay. And I'm just gonna sit dice? here and nod and not say anything till you're all done. Which of you dice do I want to? The fingers crossed it is the sin. my fade on. Hey. Hey, you don't need to breathe. Oh, that's <laughs> true. I forgot about that. <laughs> I can just scoop you back up, and there will be no questions. Just. Just the ship ends up propelling away well, thinking he's dead and Adam splats on the shield and goes Depending <laughs> on whether depending on whether the pod is intact or not. Because if the pod's not intact, bad things really do happen. It's kinda gross. Eighty five. Alright. Keanu. <laughs> Ten. Alright. <laughs> JT. 98. All right. Rosie. I feel this has been really like... 75? And John. On both ends of the spectrum. Yeah, I don't like I that. don't know if I like my odds or I, <laughs> I don't like it's my either, odds. It's either like 0 to 10 or 90 to 100. 46. And key. 40. There was a 5% chance it was one of you. It's real close there, Dwayne. Oh, real man. close. <sighs> okay. <sighs> JT's lucky I didn't decide high. <laughs> <laughs> right. So now we move on to the engineering phase, and you need to do emergency repairs. Try not to fail this time. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, all right. 
Heavy machinery plus and five wait. plus two stress dice. Got it. Oh, you said wits? Okay, plus four. Uh, one success on that. That's you gonna not... push it or keep it? Well, I have yet to roll my stress dice here. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to get stress. Wait, no, that's not right. It's three sixes. That's better. Um, I got two successes. I think I am going to push it, though. Okay. Uh, so I will reroll one, two. At this moment Two, of time, four, Lockwood is silent. Six, eight. Try and think. I apologize. Uh, seven minus two is five. And then panic dice, which is two. Uh, so one more success. Bring it to a total of three. Three is enough to repair the whole breach and to bring uh, the system back online that you broke, the cryopods. But only for uh, one shift, and then you need long-term repairs. Okay. I'm suddenly glad I pushed that roll. <laughs> JT, you dock. You get back inside. Enemy has no fighters means we're back to the commander. Everything works now. Alright. So, which of the two ships are we meant to dock onto? On the map, the one that's two squares away, not the one that's right in your right. face. Okay. So, first things first. Sensors can... Do something like that. Uh, they can allow Carrying Comfort Studios to raid us. Oh my gosh! Oh, thank Hello, you, sensors. Hell yeah! Thank you oh, so much. Yeah. Who was GMing tonight? Does anybody know? Uh, I think Natalie. They were doing Carrying Comfort High. Hi, Natalie's crew. Hearts. Welcome. Mm. We love I you too. Get it. Uh, might as well get a target lock on the second. On the other ship. one? Yeah. Two successes. Two successes. Both ships are target locked, Key. Uh, you need to be in the same square. Not in the same square, but adjacent to launch the pods. Right. Okay. For the Raiders who just arrived, they're outnumbered two to one. One of their fighters is just, is almost destroyed. They're trying to board one of the ships without start destroying it utterly. They have a hole breach, and there's a predator stealth in the area somewhere. Would it's going well. <laughs> Would we be able to get to the second zone if our pilot were to accelerate fast enough, or are we blocked? Right you can now? move. Your ship can move two zones in one movement if you succeed on the roll. All right. Your ship's fast. Yeah, we've got those tasty boosters. Fitzgerald, you better move our asses so fast. Uh, Swear to God. Uh, sir, is that, uh, I hear you. Sir, I don't know to... anything else other than fast, thank you. I hear you're wanting to overpower the engine, sir, yes? You can't anyways, because this is not the engineering phase. So... Plus two to your roll, pilot, plus your stress dice, plus your agility, plus your piloting. I'm going to talk to our engineer. I, I don't remember your name. It's not in the Zoom chat, so I'm just going to go. <laughs> Ezekiel. Zeke. Wait, I thought Ezekiel was his character last session. It was. Yeah, it was. You had the engineer been... last session oh. because you had to repair the oxygen generator. I knew that. I knew that. Um, I knew that. Anyway, uh, I knew that. Uh, turn up to an 11, man. We got this. Yes, sir, Mr. Chase, Fitzgerald. Oh, this isn't going to end well. 
Go ahead and make your pilot roll because he can't actually do anything to the engines till the end of the round. Okay, uh, no bonuses from anything? Two. Okay. It is two, right? Key for those engines? Key. Dwayne. Uh, yeah, that was, that was, two for was the last yep. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can make it a plus four. I remember asking about that. All right. Everybody. Hold on to your teeth. I've got a need. A need for speed. I have a terrible need! What, what did you land on, Rude? A need man? that can only be fulfilled by acceleration and mass quantities. I, uh, in, in the great words of the, the one guy from Jurassic Park, what's his face? Hold on to your butts. I got two successes. Okay. Nice. They've gone to plaid! What? They've gone ludicrous, to plaid! Ludicrous speed. <laughs> yeah, ludicrous speed. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And... <laughs> Things are going to get interesting now. Uh, because now they figure out what you're trying to do. So the other ship decides today is a good day to die. And yells ramming and speed ram in war. Uh, Pilot, MPs to save make the it system. a reactive opposed roll. Could we ram as well? Is that allowed? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, just don't move. Uh, Roll piloting. piloting is, yeah, it's just going to be yeah. piloting. It's the same. It was normal, it's just compared to uh, other roles. We need to be a vector here. Second because verse. we have to have magnitude and direction. Same as the first. I feel like we missed a joke from Rosie. <laughs> uh, plaid. Speed of plaid. Space balls. Oh. Plus one experience. Four successes! Oh, oh yeah! They do not ram. You managed to move your big ass out of the way somehow. <laughs> Chase goes, fuck this! <laughs> Those Marines in the back of the ship clean. are now on their face, though. <laughs> okay. So that means we move on to the shooting phase. You first, Key. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Alright. Hmm. They attempted to <laughs> ram us. Well, they did poorly on their shoot phase. One of them's gonna hit you though. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think. You've pretty heavily damaged the one that you don't need to board. I see a severe lack of nukes. There they are. There's the nukes. Okay. <laughs> now remember, nukes are going to do the same thing here they did to you. It's going to be an EMP to the entire zone. That's you too. Okay. Nukes actually only do real damage, planet side. But the EMP is amazing, and then I add a shockwave because it's science fiction. It's fun. <clears throat> yes, I like I like how in the chart it just says N A N A. <laughs> Tactical nuke? Well, we don't know! <laughs> <laughs> what does that We tried do? testing it. it, no one came back with the results. <laughs> yeah, your, your most deadly weapon is the railgun. Because the railgun is 100% armor piercing. Like, they don't get to roll armor at all. If you hit, it's full damage. Okay. Railgun time. Go for it. Alright, Gunner. <laughs> oh, you're gonna give all him right. the command bonus? Your assistant gunner gives you nothing this turn because he didn't make any sixes. Oh, poo. I think I'll withhold it for a second. Oh, great. We're not rolling a whole lot of dice then. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Go! Uh, I pooed that one. That is no successes and a poop on the uh, stress roll. <laughs> what could go wrong? Add more stress. Add more stress. <laughs> you're, gonna, uh, you're gonna get a stress anyway. I am rolling a, a d6. Or no, what am I rolling for space stress? Uh, 2d6. Two, 12, oh. 12 to 66. Uh, boosts, Rosie, are uh, extra dice. 
Oh, I should've... Damn it. Two per boost. I have to remember next time, because I'm lame. I rolled an 11 with 2d6. Alright, what do we got, Key? Uh, the space combat panic roll table is the same size as the other? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so if you did indeed get an 11, truthfully and honestly, you were frozen by fear or stress for one turn, losing your next point of action. Your stress level and the stress level of all friendly PCs in the same compartment as you increase by one. So, that'll kick in after this round. You can still shoot again. But yes, you increase the stress of your co-gunner and you can't do nothing next turn. It's, it's all on the co-gunner with their four dice. And I gain another first level. Yay. Doomed us. Ah, clearly, you, not me. You only need one success. All right, so we're going to... Wow, so just for... All right, so I got to push it. Push it real good. Uh, which means I went from one stress at the beginning of this roll to four stress now rolling. <laughs> wow. But I got a success. So, how Heavy many of you... Gun. How many of you have seen The Expanse? Remember that scene where they actually did space combat and it was like really badass? Dwayne and yes. Rosie. And they actually used a railgun and they hit that ship and it just like went through it and crystallized everything and the ship just broke apart. That's what just happened. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, the shot goes clear through the other ship. And for a second, it's just particles in space, and then the whole ship collapses from the middle and breaks into three pieces. It's real quiet. There's no fire, but there's people just falling out of the holes. Oh, yeah. Some of them fast, some of them real slow. Mm -hmm. And as the three parts float away, they start breaking apart, too. And don't look carefully at the pods, because you just see a separation. <laughs> okay. Engineering phase. Oh no, one of them shot you. That's right. Roll armor. Oh, oh no, they didn't. That's the one you killed. You're good. Roll, uh, roll engineering phase for overpowering the engines, if that's what, still what you want to do. If not, you could try to repair some of the armor. Or, I mean, some of the hull. You repaired the breach and you repaired the cryostasis units, but you haven't repaired the hull. What does Ezekiel do? Uh, as much as he's been didn't repair the hull as much as he's been uh, <clears throat> how many hull points are we down are we down nothing you have no hull points that's correct you have no breach but you have no hull points either so if this ship should hit you that'd be bad we're fucked we're real fucked um Man, he's really going to get hung out to drive this one. Okay. Uh, he's just going to go over the, the comms and to, uh, the, to go over the comms and be like, uh, we need we need more haul. Sorry about the engines. Um, and he's going to try and do more haul. So wits plus heavy machinery, I'm assuming. Plus your stress die. Plus he hasn't barked orders. Keep so, the commander yes, can give so you a boost. What Lockwood, oh, he does, does. what Lockwood does is go engines. Who wanted to power up the engine? I didn't say power up the engine. <laughs> I just told, I just told Fitzgerald to go faster. <laughs> He's just confused for a second and then gets back on. <laughs> right. Yeah, repair the hull. And starts like barking out <laughs> orders for where he should go to repair the hull. <laughs> <laughs> and under, under his breath, you just hear fucking his eagle go. I know this, where the smoking fucking holes in the goddamn <laughs> armor are. <laughs> Make command roll, <laughs> commander. Got leadership roll. <laughs> that is one success. <laughs> so add one die to your pool, uh, Ezekiel. Okay, all right. So seven, eight, ten. Every success is a whole point seven. restored for one shift. Uh, 
uh, so that's one. And then... Hold on, my mouse has been screwing up. I don't want to roll four, I want to roll three, thank you. Ooh. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm gonna push again. Wow! So, two, four, six. Roll six again. So one, two, and three more dice. Jeez. The exact same thing. <laughs> wow. Okay, so two successes. Two whole points. Better than zero. Better than zero. A lot better than one, I'm hoping. <laughs> okay. Sensor phase is now irrelevant. However, sensor phase is replaced by boarding phase. So, <laughs> guess who fires the pods at the enemy ship for boarding? The other enemy? No, no, no. Like, guess who's of the crew? Guess whose action it is to fire boarding pods? Is it me because it's replacing sensors? Nope. Okay, great. Me? The key word there is fire. It's Gunners. me? I'm and guess who can't do anything this turn? <laughs> oh, key, Commander, would you like to give uh, bark orders at your crewman who's now in charge going, What the hell? He's just sitting there, <laughs> Commander, I don't know what to do. <laughs> the NPC with four dice could use your help. Uh... Yeah, Lethem is just staring dead into the, the targeting <laughs> reticle. <laughs> his, his massive sweats coming down his face. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Would I be within range to get to the gun myself? Sure, I'll allow that. Why not? All right, Lockwood's. You can't give yourself a leadership the... boost, though. Lockwood's yelling over the comps for everyone to hear. Like, ah, oh, goddamn, Agent Freezing. Now, I'm you get one piece dice of from shit. your. You get one dice from your co gunner. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I might, must have been a little loud. I apologize. <laughs> My god, that's oh. great. Alright, so that would be 66. Alright, here we go. To launch the pods. That would be one success. That's all you need. And a one on one of the sanity dice, the stress dice. Roll it! Aw, oh, yeah. You know what time it is. Aw, oh, yeah, that is a three on the die, so that's five total. Unless it was supposed to be 2d6, at which point it's an eight. I can math. <laughs> What's an eight? An eight. I start trembling uncontrollably. All skill rules suffer a minus two modification until your panic stops. Ah. Nice. I'm sure that that'll be success. fine. Mostly because now we switch to the Marines. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Poor Dwayne. Costume change! Costume change! Wait, wait Rick, hold, your marine can wear a jacket too, damn it! Our Keanu's gone. But our, but our marine got a nice haircut, I love it. Okay. New initiative cards. D10, starting with Ever. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Nine. Nine. Okay. It was just me saying no, I don't want to roll a diet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she asked real nicely. J T or Dwayne. You need my uh my D ten? Yep. Initiative roll. Seven. Dwayne. J T. I'm, I'm sorry, I love Three. You. 
I love how your helmet is cocked every single time. <laughs> it's because of my headphones. It, <laughs> I don't have I mean, small headphones. <laughs> I mean, I know. I, I know that it's not. You, that's not the way you'd actually wear it. But that's fucking hilarious. Remind me, uh, initiative is one d six. D ten. D ten. Because it's you actually draw cards. But we don't have cards, so we're using a d ten. Nine. Uh, Nine. Can't do the same one twice. Try again. Yes, sir. Five. All right, John. Uh, put me uh, down as, and I want to make sure you get this, a strong one. Strong. And key. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, yay. Okay, crap. That is a solid two. <laughs> nice. Mm. And okay. So here's how this works. It will take you five movements. No, six, because even numbers. Six movements total. Three to get to your destination, three to get back. That means no matter what happens, it'll be three rounds. Six rounds. Wow, we're good at math this late, aren't we? Huh. Must be the helmet throwing us off. Dwayne's wearing that like he's in the Nam again or something. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Full Metal. Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's how, exactly. It's how Hudson wore his. So. <laughs> yeah, that is that's, that's true. So, uh, every round basically you'll have to move towards your destination, but there'll be resistance from uh, enemy soldiers. So essentially, every turn you will start with zero cover. You get two actions. They can either be two movements or one offensive and one movement. You can't do two offense. Uh, there will always be cover available, but I'm going to randomly decide the maximum amount available. So in the first turn, you punch the side of the hole and pop out of your pods, and it's a corridor. So there's cover, but not a lot. <laughs> it's kind of a kill box. So... Uh, I. I assume that we don't have to wear the suits that we went down to the planet on, like we're in full battle. You're in your, you're in your actual combat gear, yes. Hell yes. However, for Rosie's Marine, rockets are not recommended in a spaceship. <laughs> I mean, that's that's fair, but she's sad about it. I have to, I have to look up what my, what my ammunition, my M5. <laughs> six smart and shit. In this corridor, there are six enemy soldiers flanking you. Three behind, three ahead. Uh, Edenson, you're first. Of course I am. So basically, you can either shoot and move or move twice. You can try to shove past them or take cover and fire. Oh, let me open my sheet. That would help. And if you choose to fire, because you're probably going to fire either way, it's going to be range combat plus agility, plus any stress. You all have plus one stress. Things did not go well in that space fight. I do not. I have no Everyone stress. Everyone but you. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, let's see. What do I have here? Was a uh, close combat? Um... Okay, so I think I'm going to do a move. I don't have ranged combat. But I wonder if I could do a move and then, like, elbow them in the face. You could do close combat, yes, but then you have no cover. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll do a move and then fire. All right, do it. And that is range combat plus agility. Yep. Do I have any bonuses on this? Oh, I have a bonus from a vote that I haven't used yet. A few votes that I haven't used yet. A vote is worth two dice. Ooh. Or not a vote. You mean a player award, or do you actually mean a vote? Uh, oh, let's find out. Because votes are not bonus dice. Votes are moving initiative or not dying. Votes. Oh, 
okay. Uh, uh, audience boost thingamabob. Yeah, that's two dice. Okay. One success. Okay. It's on the dice that you keep. What's your sidearm? I approve. <laughs> 12 gauge shotgun, which is crap with armor. What's the damage, Dwayne? Three. Oh, sorry, I'm not Dwayne. Dwayne, what's the damage? Yes, it is, it is three. <laughs> oh, if you have it, it's better. I'm just assuming he's got the weapon <laughs> chart. Uh, they don't actually have armor. Three won't kill him, but three definitely maims that guy. Excellent. I like it old school. Uh, not Agent Lethem. Uh, I don't remember if our pulse rifles are armor piercing or not. <laughs> they don't have armor. These are just I the mean soldiers for the that were. Ship. Oh no, you're fine. Uh, uh, pulse rifles do have armor piercing. Okay. All armor right. piercing is not, hole piercing. <laughs> okay, just making sure. I mean, because I have a sidearm, so. <laughs> Only the rocket launcher and the grenades are risk will risk the hole. And even the <clears> grenades <throat> might not. Depends on which grenade. All right, uh, then Harrison will uh, move to cover. Did I get one movement and one yep. attack? Yes, I will move to the nearest cover uh, and then take a nice big old pot shot with my pulse rifle. Uh, not not full auto, just short controlled burst. That is one success. Are you shooting a new one or the one that was already hit with the shotgun? The one that was already maimed. That guy's dead now. Uh, Ruth. Alrighty, Ruthie. Um, I was looking for stats for the riot shield. Uh, oh yeah, did you find that, Dwayne? No, Pretty sure that's just no. extra armor. I think, okay, good. Um, so it's not actually designed for her to use her considerable bulk as like a ram. I'd let you. Wow. That gives you plus five armor. Uh, if we need to get our way into the ship, that is definitely what she's going to do. Okay, you uh, can make a close combat plus strength plus five. Oh, and if you... Okay, so with the riot shield, if you if you fire first, it gives you cover. In addition to the five armor. Just make a note of that. It's like you're, it's like you're holding around a, a tower shield. <laughs> if you're trying to clear a path, though, yeah, that's going to be close combat yeah. plus strength plus five. Alrighty, Rosies. I would like to push that. Okay. Because out of that big, beautiful pull, I only got one six. That's better. Uh, four successes. You clear a path, which means you can move up another range increment without anyone else having to worry. So that means we're back to uh, Adam. This is an open room you're moving through. Lots of cover. Open meaning it's not a corridor, it's full of stuff. Cool. I'm going to take cover and fire at another. Okay. Um, Are we at the top of the round again? New round. If you move, if you clear your resistance, you move to the next phase. This isn't about killing the enemies. This is about getting to your objective. Okay. One success. Rachel, I approve. Okay. I'm scared. What did Rachel say? Giving me dice. You shoot oh, a dear. tech. This is a room full of techs. You shoot a poor technician. He no longer has a left leg. I can fix that. Harrison. 
He no longer has a left leg. Oh, he's out. The technicians only need one hit. Ah. Uh. I mean... You didn't kill him. Capital M is me, Zach, because that's what the DM is called in Alien. Anyways. Also, that's mom versus mother. And in a fist fight, I'd, I'd probably put my money on mom. Hmm. Here, I thought they were just interchangeable words. Uh, I, I, I mean, I guess Harrison would continue the charge. Uh, not diving behind cover this time. This room you can't clear with a charge. That was just because that was a corridor. Oh, this is the room room? Yep. All right, then I will take cover. Basically, you have to survive the round. Oh, easy. I will take cover again and... Uh, Lay down some some fire. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're going full auto. Roll it. I will gain one stress. No, you're. Um, that was in the last game. Uh, I'm gonna roll this here. D6. Get a five. K. I can't remember what full auto is. Uh, uh, extra two dice, and your stress level goes up by one along with being able to target a secondary target if you get an additional success. Uh, I will use uh, my hot dog wizard bonus. Oh, look at all them dice. Uh, <laughs> it's a good day to dice. Are you serious? I got one success on all those dice. You hit the dude, and you cut down that technician. And you went full auto in an enclosed room. You hit something. <laughs> you don't know what you hit, but you damaged something important. I'm sure that won't mess up with mess. With it you was all. me, wasn't it? Yes. Ruth. Okay. Harris, Harrison's over here blowing out life support or something. You don't know. Uh, then we better move fast. Uh. Um, this room, we... you can't you can't force your way through because it's a room that only works in corridors. All right, fine. <laughs> um, then, let's see, is anyone close enough to me that I can use my stun baton? Yes, you can move up be to one and stun them, which would be close combat plus strength again. Okay. This is a room full of technicians. You rush the guy. He looks at your stun baton, wets himself. Great. Good for him. And I have one stress then. Okay. My heart goes out to all these technicians who were needlessly <laughs> attacked. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna push again because that should be better. Okay. Okay, that's one success. Yes, that guy is stunned into unconsciousness. And now it's the surviving technician's turn. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It's not good. So, let's see who they targeted because they're panicked and random. It's a six. That would be key. It's a three. That would be JT. Rosie. All right. Uh, One of them throws a wrench at uh, Murphy. The wrench hits you, Murphy. Roll your armor. You just hear. You just hear over the cons. <laughs> um, I actually don't know how much armor I have. Uh, it should be the same as everyone else. So if anyone yeah, else, you should does. have. You should have six. Six. Okay. Two successes. You take no damage from the wrench. It bounces off your chest guard. Okay. However, the other two get a little smarter. Pulled out hypodermics and jabbed them into both Ruth and Gardner. So, you're not rolling armor. You're rolling stamina. Oh no. Uh, it was nice knowing you all. <laughs> Good night, Brian Gardner. 
rolling two dice. Good night, everyone. They are um, injecting you with some kind of coolant liquid. Can I push the limit? <laughs> yes, this? you can push a stamina roll. Am I rolling stamina as well? Yep. That is one okay. success. So one I got success. one success. I got one success and a one on a stress die, so I believe that means I have to do panic now. That is correct. Oh, no. I haven't had to do a panic roll yet. All right. And it's a single d6, not two d6 for panic. One d6 for panic? Yeah. Okay. Plus whatever your stress modifier is. Uh, six. Oh. Total. Ooh. Oh, six total. Okay, that's yeah, still that's I still. Yeah, because I rolled a four and I have two stress. So you keep it together then. <laughs> What's like what? <laughs> it's over, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. So you both got one success on the stamina roll then, yes? Okay. Yes. Okay. You both only take two damage each, and you're both only down two dice to all physical actions. Um, the what pain is the pain when, is amazing. <laughs> what happens when our health gets filled? <laughs> You're healed from the last time. Oh yes, I know. Uh, if your health gets filled, you go down. All you can do is Gardner roll around and down. scream. Gardner goes down and starts screaming. <laughs> Toughest marine in the crew to win once. <laughs> All right. Uh, that means it's now uh, Murphy's turn. <laughs> Whatever they did to Gardner, there's green shit coming out of his nose. And it's not um, snot. It looks like radiator fluid. Is, um... Did Ruth lose control in the panic roll or no? No. No, I held it together. Okay. So I don't need to commit... I don't need to do the stunt panic thing. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna just shoot them. Okay, roll it. One, two. Oh, no bonus. One or one's a stress though, correct? We all have one stress. Yep. This is fine. And one success. Okay. Uh, what pulse rifle? Yeah. Yeah. That technician is no more. Gardner. You can carry on screaming. Uh, should I roll for any sort of critical injuries? As I am down. Uh, two damage, uh, Ruth. From the coolant. Uh, no. No immediate critical injuries. But you have to make another stamina roll because you went down. Ah. And you gain another stress. Another stress. Ooh. It's stressful dying. Who'd have thought? That's a. That's two ones on the, the stress side. <laughs> no Did successes. Get, now you need to roll in the critical injury chart. Ah. My arm seems to have gone out as I got a 26. What is on 26? Slashed shoulder. Roll again. Roll again? Ah, okay. Wait, what page is it on? Page 104 of the PDF. Thank you. I'm going to do it for you uh, so I don't have to keep telling you to roll again if it's not. <laughs> all these terrible <laughs> fates that could befall me. Okay. I got slash shoulder too. That's hilarious. All right, here we go. <laughs> yep, that's appropriate. You have ruptured intestines. Uh -huh. Um... You have one shift That's for the really medic to shitty. get to you before you die. And I have a disease. And you gotta roll on the panic and chart. Six. And I have to roll for panic as I confronted with my mortality. That's a four total. Okay. You keep it together probably because you're dying and you can't see anything but scream. Uh, okay. Uh, that leaves Baker. Oh, I get okay. Um, <laughs> so he's got he's got his gun, and it's like trailing 
along the ground, and he's just like stomping down the corridor. And by the time he gets to the door, he's just <laughs> okay. Uh, um, all right, and he shoves the clip in, and he's gonna go and uh, take a shot. Okay. And I'm, I want to kind of go full auto, but I'm fine with this. So let's let's do it. So what do extra successes do in a combat environment again? Nothing unless you need them for something. Uh, I have to re-roll. Why? Well, I don't have to re-roll. Did you get any successes at all? Yeah, I, but Then you're I fine. Should. You hit. I got a one on a stress dice, though. You can't re-roll that. That just means you have to roll and still in the panic chart. Okay. If I can only hit one person. So roll a d6 and add your stress level. Uh, four total. You keep it together and you murder another technician. Uh, Adam grabs Gardner and drags him along as you move into the next room, which is the one that actually has your goal. This room has an emplacement. The soldiers had time to get here ahead of you, throw up some barricades, and put a Gatling gun on it, which opens fire as soon as you enter the room. Adam, you should probably stop Gardner from dying. I require first aid. Mostly because you need a ComTech to recover the data from this room. Ah, uh, fuck that dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm I'm definitely gonna help, uh, Private Gardner. So. Private Gardner, as you're trying to help him, puts a hand up towards your face, and just starts going, Jason, <laughs> Jason, Adam, and then chokes on green shit. I'm not Adam. <laughs> no, I I'm Adam. Uh, look like <laughs> Jason. No, no, I'm no, I'm Adam. Jeez. No, no, I'm I'm Adam. This goes on for several minutes. <laughs> and in that time, Gardner dies. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> medical aid. Medical aid plus wits, Adam. Oh, plus wits. Oh, I had empathy. Oh. Or empathy, oh, sorry, you're right. I, out of eight dice, I only have one success, so I hope you don't die. One success is enough to stabilize. However, you'll need to do it again next turn to get him on his feet. Okay. <laughs> or you could push. No, you can't push. <laughs> I, I, I can push. No, uh, you can't. Compassion. Uh, yes, it's my talent. Compassion. Oh, because you're push healing. Any skill roll based on empathy twice, not just once like other characters. Oh, well, yeah. Except so. that androids can't push at all. Mm. Yes, yes, they can. They just don't take stress. Did we determine that by looking it up, or did we have to look that up later? Anyway? I remember that. Yeah, they can push, can they push. just don't gain stress. Okay, I'll Boom. allow it. <laughs> However... going to murder me in another game as punishment. Just oh no, push. if you fail, I'm going to murder Key. Yeah, that's my life. <laughs> that's the <laughs> problem. <laughs> Bear in mind also, I am your rival, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, so if you die, it's not so bad. <laughs> I'm not dying today. I got two successes. Oh, you are stabilized, and you can act next turn with a minus one penalty to everything. <laughs> I mean, cool. <laughs> he opens his eyes a bit more. Adam. Adam. Yes. Adam. Harrison. Yes, you remember. Good job. You're in turn. Oh, wait, you're all Marines this time. So who's in charge of the squad? Murphy is. Alright, so that's not you this time, Harrison. What would you like to do, Harrison? There's a Gatling gun in your way. Murphy, you have a special job that you didn't tell the squad about. No need to panic them. We'll get to you in a minute. Ooh. Yeah, not me. Uh, it's your turn, Harrison. What do you want to do? What did you send something to me? Oh. Oh. What? It's your turn, Harrison. I know, I was looking at all these side messages oh. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I didn't send you any side messages. Uh, so 
guess somebody side message this. Uh, uh, all right, Gatling gun, no good. Uh, actually, <laughs> I just went full auto, so I have to reload. All right, well, there goes your turn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gatling gun, no good. Bruce, uh, yeah, but I can still hill. get behind some cover though. Yes, you could still take cover. Yeah. I just, I'm thinking, I I'm, I'm, I'm envisioning the thought process of Gatling gun, no good, full auto, make many holes, shit, clip empty. Yes, no bullets. <laughs> Ruth. Okay. Um, what's the setup that the, you said there were soldiers in the room. What's their setup? Have they created a barricade? Have they done anything tactical? Yeah, they threw up a barricade and put a Gatling gun on it, which is firing at you. Awesome. Uh, I've got my riot shield, so I'm going to try to push forward and create cover for my compadres. Okay, you can shoot too. I would love to do that. I will shoot with my pulse rifle. Yeah, let's do that. Seems like a solid choice. Yeah. Of many options, it is one. Well, that you have chosen. Yes, I've chosen. And it will not blow a hole in the ship. No. So <laughs> Pulse rifle can't get through the hull. Yeah. Specifically, what can get through a hull? Nukes. Rocket launcher. So that's close combat and agility? Nope, that's range combat and agility. Thank you, sir. One success. One success. Hit somebody. Yay. One of the two Gatling gunners goes down. Cool. But not the other one. And the Gatling okay. gun goes off. Gun go... <laughs> uh, Everyone has one last bonus from Zaftig Tanzarin. Oh, right. I haven't used I should either of the bonuses I was tonight. Uh, I think I'll use that on my next roll. Yeah, do I need have... to do anything to create cover? Is there a role nope. for that? Nope. Your eye okay. shield just does that. It won't protect everyone, but it'll protect a cone. Oh my goodness. That is a whole other chart. Hold on. Gatling gun is not in the uh, personnel chart. <laughs> it's probably bad for you. I'm doing my job. All right, everybody roll armor. Uh, Ruth roll plus five. Murphy roll plus two. And Harrison roll plus two from Ruth's cover. Anyone who took cover on their turn, which I think was just Harrison, is in another plus two. Oh, yeah, and you don't have face? to roll, Gardner, because you're on your face. Uh, what about Adam? Adam has to roll. Adam! What is our base armor? Uh, six for six. marine armor. So I get, I so I zero, get plus four? That's zero successes. You have ten armor, yes. Don't click on your armor rating, click on the armor name. There you go. One success there. I, I did it. I got one success. Three successes? Two successes. On my face. <laughs> I got two successes. Okay. Oh, that was incorrectly, but it, oh well. So is it two shots before you have to reload? Yours will tell you it's different for every gun. Yeah. Okay. Possible, Tony, because all those people that boosted me, it's going to this roll. <laughs> oh God! Well, I have to roll some more dice. I still have to find the damn Gatling gun. Ah, I found it. I actually have three successes total. Hmm. 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 
cool. The bonus action does not add to the armor roll. Okay, it hit three of you. So, uh, now I have to randomly determine who. Here's my nifty picture of you. So that's, uh, Baker. How much? How much did you roll in your armor? Uh, one. Success. One. How much health do you have? I don't like it. <laughs> Five. Five. Please roll on the critical hit chart. Oh, I'm down? You're down. Fuck! Oh, no. <laughs> All right, well. Don't forget, votes, not player, not audience awards, but actual votes, can re-roll this if you roll instant death. I don't, didn't get any. Um, critical injury chart. 2d6, yep. D 2d6? Yep, and then make it a percentile. To like a tens place and a ones place. Uh, 62. What's 62 say? You got that key? Mm. 62 of the critical hit. Critical hit chart. Oh boy. Yeah, that's pretty high. Oh boy. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I just read it myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Go ahead and tell us, Key, if you're there first. Roll, please. Oh my god. Okay. 62. Ruptured aorta. <laughs> Is that an instant death hit? Sounds Lethal like it. Lethal in one round, and you have stamina minus two. So you can use a vote if you have any to reroll that critical hit. I don't have any. You have no votes from any players or audience yet? That I give him one of my votes. <laughs> Can't no, do it fine. preemptively. It's fine. No, you got one good. turn to get to him, Doc. Okay. Next is three, which is oh Murphy. Murphy, what'd you roll on the armor? I got zero successes. How many hit points do you have? I have two hit points. You have two hit points. Please roll on the critical hit chart. Murphy's down. Gatling 26. guns. 26. That's not too bad. What do we got, Key? Slashed shoulder. Again. <laughs> weird weird huh. thought. Um, a, a, a mounted cannon pointed in one direction at a kill box is killing people. It's weird. <laughs> huh, that's so strange. <laughs> Fucking strange. <laughs> and six. Six would have hit Gardner, but Gardner's on the ground, which means that hits Adam. What'd you get for the armor roll, Adam? Two successes. How many hit points does Adam have? Five. Good. You're down to two hit points. You take no critical hit. You took three damage. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Murphy is down. Gardner. Well, Gardner actually, time. you're down, Murphy. But... You have a job that needs doing. You have any votes? Have any votes from players or audience? I do not. Okay, make me a stamina roll. Just stamina. Just stamina. Yep. I got a two. Sorry, so zero. Okay. So Murphy's muttering about <laughs> must complete mission, and he goes fumbling around in his pack, but he can't hold on to it. And the nuke rolls out of the pack and across the floor and lands in front of Harrison. That's the mission. Get the information, set the nuke, get out before it goes off. We know how to count down. And it's Harrison's job to turn it on. You couldn't. Alright, Gardner, give me a contact roll. Bless wits. For what? You're trying to get the data you're here for. Oh, uh, we're in the room. Okay, cool. Okay. To keep getting data while we're under fire from a Gatling gun. <laughs> and there's a nuke yeah, rolling around. Marines. Okay. Just another would, day in the core. Uh, hmm. Would remote give me any bonuses? Yes. For, yeah. Oh, lovely. My 2d6 bonus. Okay. Yeah, remember your 
campaign summary that distinguished service crosses are why you get the good missions. This is earning you that! And... Just want to make sure if I have something... Okay, yeah, I really don't have anything for this, so... That would be... One, two, three, four successes, and Ooh. a one on a stress die. Guess what, though? You needed three. You got it in one turn. Uh, yeah, but at what cost? Roll the panic die. Yeah, that's a four. You keep it together. Wipe some and, green stuff off my face. And Baker is down. So... Now we need the doc to save Baker before you can exit. So, doc, you're first. I know you're not a doctor, but that's what, they're, that's what we're calling you. Eh. Make that medical roll, Adamson. Or Adam. Yeah. Adam, Adam Adamson. Adam Adamson. <laughs> that is the most Adam. artificial person name ever. <laughs> Adam A. Adamson. <laughs> oh, man. What's the, what's the second initial for? That first initial for there. <laughs> Adam Adam. with, uh, yeah. Adam. I, I, I figured Adam with two A's in the middle. Or two A's in front, so it's Adam Adam Adamson. <laughs> Rachel's giving you uh, two bonus dice ever. Sweet. Because Adam, because Adam Smasher would be too on the nose. <laughs> um, was it Baker or, um, it's me. JT's yeah, it's Baker. Character. It's Baker. Well, He's worse off. Yeah, Murphy's yeah, not dying. Aorta. Murphy's down, <laughs> but he's not dying. You don't need an aorta. Everyone knows that's a thing for him. <laughs> We're in places all the time in Cyberpunk. Oh, wait, shit. Wrong again. <laughs> One, two. Okay, two successes. Oh, you stabilize him and he can move. All right. This game is the only game that gives me anxiety. He, he looks. He <laughs> Harrison. Benjamin looks up at Adam, goes, I think I love you. <laughs> then he's just running. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't love me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for saving my life, Doc. <laughs> You're welcome. Harrison, there's a nuke that needs setting. Yes, there is. <clears throat> this is what's going to happen because Sergeant Murphy is my buddy. Uh, Lance Corporal Harrison immediately has a flashback due to his uh, personal agenda, seeing the death, death of another buddy. And I secretly fear combat and confrontation and I need to overcome my fear. I will never lose a buddy again. Fuck the nuke. I'm going for Sergeant Murphy. Okay. Uh, that means... Ruth, it's on you. Yeah, I gotta deal with that nuke now. Uh, what do I roll? Comtech. Plus wits. Well, fuck. <laughs> Here's the so... catch, though. Should I, tell the, should I tell you the catch before the roll or after you decide? After, thank <laughs> okay. you. Uh, I have zero contact, but I have two wits and two stress die. Okay. I'm gonna push it. Okay. One success. Can I push a second time? <laughs> Alice, I just gave you two bonus dice. Roll those. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, I had two others already, too, that I haven't used. I keep forgetting to do it. I would use them now. Yes. If that is acceptable. You can use... Yep, do it. So that'd be six dice. Awesome. So that... Is, did you want me to reroll all of them? No, just the six dice from the bonuses. The all right. You can only Ooh. push twice if you have a feat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another three successes. So That's good. Four total. Because ah. here was the catch. If you had not gotten two successive, you would not have failed to set it off. You would have immediately set it off. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you guys for the, the, the help. I the audience it. just saved the whole party. 
Thank you. It would have been kind of glorious if we'd all blown up. TP. Get the <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to need <laughs> each one of you, and Murphy and uh, Baker, you're both at minus two to this roll. Each one of you needs to make a uh, stamina plus uh, strength roll. Beginning with Adam. Stamina plus strength. Okay, let's see here. Where is that on my sheet? There's one. You can all roll so you have your results ready. I'll just call on you to tell me one at a time. Are we allowed to push the limit? On yes. Rolls? Absolutely. Lovely. This Are is your escape to, to use... ship roll. Are we allowed to use bonuses? One yes. success. And how many bonuses can I use? Many as you have left, because this is the last roll of the night. Okay, so I'm using three bonuses. Harrison! Um, <laughs> Good I'm face. I'm thinking on whether I want to push it or not. You're gonna, if you don't, you'll die. Or get heavily I have, injured, I suppose. I have one success. Oh, okay. So do I. Uh, like, do I go back and push? <laughs> one is enough. You don't need to for this. You know what? I am going to push the limit because I'm helping Sergeant Murphy. That's a really it. good idea because I push and I still got no success. <laughs> so let me, let me, let me, uh, uh, I need five. Five of those. Uh, oh yeah, look at those fucking numbers. <laughs> Uh, that's four additional successes, and I need to reroll my stress die. With no ones balling, so that's a total of five successes. So you can roll four more dice, JT. <laughs> No! Ah, <laughs> I tried so hard. Okay. Uh, so here, so he's your buddy. So here's your choice. You could carry him. But it's going to cost you. That's to you, Harrison. Uh, well, he's just got a slashed shoulder, so I don't really need to carry him. I just need to prop him up, right? No, he got the slashed shoulder as the critical injury. He went down from bullets. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, firemen carry this fool. Okay. We'll deal with the next session, but you're going to take a long-term strain. <laughs> In your rush to get out, you hurt something. It takes a hot minute to heal. Oh, I'm growing. But you saved your buddy. That's all that matters. That's right. It's very true. All right, Ruth, what'd you get? One. That's enough. And what about uh, Baker? Uh, four. Gardner. And he has got nothing, even after pushing the limit. All right, roll three dice because uh, Baker can assist you. And he and Baker has to roll on the stress. It's nothing. I got nothing. Baker, <laughs> okay, you can get a hernia um, too if you carry him. <laughs> Ruth is a gardener's buddy. You could push Ruth the roll. Got, huh? You did, so in order to help, you could either take the injury and carry him or push the roll and give him dice. Um, I will take the injury and carry him. Do you need me to do anything? Since I already technically rolled to get off, do you need me to like turn around and do nope. I need to do anything for that? Nope, because you're taking a long-term physical injury for it. You don't have to do anything. All right. Do they, ha do they have to take an injury if I assist? Yes, because... <laughs> I, he rolled your assist dice and didn't get anything. Got nothing. Okay. Yeah, Ruth just kind of realizes that you're not with them. Goes, ah, fuck this kid. Second time <laughs> I'm dragging him out by his ass. Fuck. She just runs back for you and grabs you and drags you off. And what was the, uh, the, uh, was, are we rolling on the 2d6 stress? Or is 1d6. The uh, that would be an 8. That's not enough to make you collapse into a ball and get blown up with a nuke. So you make it out. Oh, well, well done me. 
<laughs> and as and as the crew reboards their pods and ejects away from the ship, and the ship ex- collapses in on itself in a glorious implosion. That's where we pause until next week. You've distinguished yourselves in this mission, Marines. <laughs> <laughs> in a good way or bad way? <laughs> in a good way. Okay, that, was in, that was intentionally impossibly hard to further the story. Holy shit. And nobody died. I'm kind of impressed. Okay, I love I love the way it went. I will say I got one turn with this guy. <laughs> and he just about damn dropped dead on me. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, Marines. That's enough bug hunting. You better get back to the barracks because it'll be dark soon. And they mostly come out at night. Mostly. But don't worry, we'll be back in the shit next week, same time, same place. Audience, thanks for embarking with the Marines on this mission, and they hope to see you again next week. Don't forget to follow on Twitch and subscribe and hit the bell on YouTube, because you're helping them get that delivery to the periphery on time. Special thanks tonight to our patrons and all of our Twitch subscribers. You help make our quality better, our cosplay sharper, and feed all of the cats and dogs. What you often see. So you must pay to see the fur babies on the camera. Thanks also to Free League, Astral Tabletop, and The Foundry, as well as Dark Somnia Music, Coag Music, and White Bad Audio for many of the tunes and beats you heard in this episode. Marines, fall in and sound off. Name, rank, duty assignment with the Vorpal Corps, as well as Merc contracts elsewhere on the network. Uh, I am J3 Billion, a.k.a. Jonathan, a.k.a. Zico Thomas, a.k.a. Benjamin Baker, for tonight. Uh, and I will be, I believe I am still with tomorrow, question mark, maybe. Uh, and then definitely uh, we're wrapping up our um, Unknown Armies game on Sunday. So really excited about that. It's going to be uh, 4 o'clock at that time. And it's going to be run by our uh, great DM, Maroon Recluse. Uh, so that is all my stuff. Hey everybody, I'm Ever. You can find me all over the internet as Changeling Ever. I have enjoyed being both Adam and Chase. You know, if you feel free, or if you feel like you want to, let me know which one you hate the most. Um, (laughs) Or love the most. Who knows? Maybe you like the asshole Chase. But anyway, you can also find me on Etsy at Neat and Co Designs uh, and playing tomorrow night the first episode of Ravenloft. What am I going to be? You don't know. Oh my god, I can't wait to find out. And I am Keanu Reeves. I mean, Dwayne. You can yes, find you me are. at Made of Kimchi on the internet. Yes, you fucking are. <laughs> Tonight I was playing your very own company man and Lance Corporal Harrison. Next time that you guys will see me will be tomorrow for a double feature. First, with the second <laughs> season of Contagion Chronicle. Uh... 5 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Time. And then I will also be joining the clan for Ravenloft right after that. Oh, hi. I am Rosie. Tonight I played Dr. Laura Lamb and the Marine Ruth, and they both made it out alive. Yay! And you can find me doing some other fun stuff of our Carrying Comfort Studios and Gehenna Gaming. Check out Gehenna Gaming on Friday for Dark Ages Vampire. Mm. You might see me. Uh, and this weekend, I don't think I'm doing anything with Carrying Comfort, but the 5th and 6th of June, you can see me playing Heart City Beneath as well as a couple other things that I don't think have been announced yet. So, a couple weekends from now, I'll be doing a lot of things. Busy. And I have been Private Gardener, and also Jordan Lockwood, and also Kisama. You can find me on Twitter, at TrueKisama, and you can find me tomorrow in the Contagion Chronicle. Season two. Behind the Denny's near you. 
Hey okay. folks, I'm I'm JT. You can find me online at Zunzelmancer. Tonight I have been Jason Murphy and John Higgins, and uh, killed some stuff with my sweet spaceship, which was fun. And you can catch me next in the first episode of uh, Simbaro. Am I saying that correctly? Close enough. Simbaroom. Simbaroom. All right, on Saturday. Excellent. And now, for the Ride or Die viewers, it's vote time. Viewers can vote for any one player each session, which are worth a free re-roll on the stress or critical injury chart. Player votes is worth an XP, maximum of once per session, and the extras are re-rolling death saves. On their or can be used to redraw initiative. Players begin. Uh, I am going to give... I'm going to give mine tonight to uh, Key, just because, like, he is the most rivaled character out there. And uh, I just kind of love when he was in command, like, he's barking orders. And, like, my entire character was just giving him shit the entire time. And he's just, like, rolling with the punches, like, yeah, he's a dickhead, but he does his job. <laughs> Please don't talk about pay. <laughs> I am going to give it to Ruth for uh, single rollingly, single handedly, uh, disarming the nuke and then going back and grabbing Gardner because stupid kid. You are cleaning house with the audience key. Hmm. Zach rules. Watch your back. The Denny's. I will not forgive you for that. Oh. <laughs> mm. Denny's a near and dear to Vorpal Tail's heart. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> he destroyed my Denny's. tomb. I mean. <laughs> my phylactery was. Oh, wait, never My oh, phylactery wait. was not there. <laughs> what? Hmm? <laughs> wait. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Whoever's after John. Oh. No, no, I was first. I already went. Oh, so it's me. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, myself. I am giving my vote to uh, Tenant Commander Higgins for blowing up shit and probably saving us because we probably would not have made it that far if you didn't take out the other ships. Thank you. Fair, fair. It did not go well. Yeah. To um, paraphrase Tyler. Um, I would also like to give my vote to Higgins because that was super badass. Like with the, the ship and the barrel roll and the shooting into the gun of the other ship and just silent explosions. It was awesome. To be Thank clear, you. he did a barrel roll. Ah, uh, if I could give my vote to Stolen Fires in the audience, I would for the Flactory comment, but no. Uh, <laughs> I must give my vote to Ever for the performance of Fitzgerald. Just all of it. It's great. I apologize for what comes out of my mouth when I play Fitzgerald. You can show up tomorrow night, though, Key, at the end of Ravenloft when I call for votes and then tell Rachel it's for last night. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'll I think big. Uh, that leaves me. Um, yep. I'm voting for Harrison for saving my ass. Excellent. Awesome being That's awesome to each do. other. And you all did very well tonight. But now we must leave you for the week. But don't get too loud about it. Because it won't do any good. Because in space, no one can hear you scream. Man. Good night. Night. Yeah, I'm going to do that one offline.
Thank you. 